Hello, Bo. It's very quiet. Because it needs the game when I tab out of it. Alrighty. Let's check this out. Um, my favorite thing about Pathfinder is all of the class and race customization you can do. I am very eager to see exactly how much they shove into this because I it would be so it'd be so much, so much to put into an actual game. Uh, gray ethics. Vertical sync, yes. Depth of field, no. Bloom, maybe. There we go. Now... Hopefully there isn't motion blur. I don't see that anywhere. I don't think I'll need to edit the controls, so let's not get the rebind sneaking from control and breaking my finger to alt and nice relaxing fun. Kitty, please. Already? Already with this shit? Eh. Uh, we'll just keep it how it is and take what... Uh, edit it as we need it. You know what? I'm gonna throw you out early. Come here. Nope. Come here. Come here. Get out! Let's do this. I have so many Pathfinder characters I could make, provided that they... ...have all the stuff in this. We, as developers, are always striving to improve our work to this end. We need information that we can only get from you by allowing the same game stakes to us. You can help us learn more about the way you play and what difficulties you encounter in the game. I think you can look at the, the Steam ratings for that one. So this game has mixed reviews on Steam, despite none of the reviews being the actual game. The reviews, the bad reviews are, it crashes, my potato can't toaster, or there's bugs. Or it's too hard. So, that says absolutely nothing about the game, except for maybe the difficulty. Being out of wonk is a little bit impacting. But you know, they could fix that or you just lower it. That that the game experience of bug reports you made sale to Tony, yeah fucking fine. They can't see who I am anyways. Death's door, okay. Uh mm, yeah. critical hits. Normal. I'm gonna edit this to be as like default as possible. I don't know why normal mode has weak critical hits. That's not multiplied on critical hits suffered by your party, making critical hits significantly less deadly. Are they deadly? Can you play a witch? Maybe. The witch is a class in Pathfinder. If they have all of them. I'm not expecting them to have every little freaking tiny absolute minuscule detail that you that of customization that they have in the normal shit. Uh, the Yuri character, your companions will ever die from any damage or effect. They only become unconscious will rise after combat. You can still lose if your party wipes, though. I think that's good to have. The soldier enables your character command will not die after suffering a deadly energy. Instead, they will receive death store condition. If they suffer deadly energy under the effects and the conditions, then they will die. If any character dies, the game is over. Oh, they have like all the core and advanced classes. <laughs> if they have the Slayer class, I'm going to make a beast beyond compare. Because I have a Slayer class that, um, if they have that and Tri-Bladed Katars, uh, by level I think 8 or 11, I can make a, a build that has times four or five crits. I'm not sure if they get a crit bonus. I don't think so. I think it's times four crits. Critical multiplier. Um, 15 to 20 
rolls, so 25% chance to crit, and it does a 1d12 or 10 for the base weapon damage. So you're basically wielding a great axe, dual wield, with massive fucking just destructive ass crits. So you get the dual wield chance to crit, the 25% the chance to crit, and then massive ass criticals, especially if you get that thing keened. I think that is with Keen. But yeah, Slayer can be absolute terror. Immersive mode. Mode disables all interface hints in combat. Nah. Uh, fuck it, let's stick it to normal. God, no, not auto levels up. It's somewhat easier enemy. I like how normal has the weak and the and the somewhat easier enemies and stuff. Yeah, fuck, let's do challenge mode. We can always change it, right? Can we change it? Is this changeable? I will suffer full damage from enemies. It'll take fights at full power. It'll have to use the chances of flicking critical hits. Character will die after suffering deadly injury, but can I res them? That's a thing. Character as the game is over, if a companion dies, you can resurrect them with raised dead or similar spells. Extremely expensive service, but unavailable to most adventurers. We'll see. I'm gonna set that to normal. Yeah, I think I am gonna go with mostly normal stuff. And Death's Door is just a good mechanic, so they don't instantly get popped with some buffer, like in the normal Pathfinder game. Is negative hit points for normal Pathfinder? Equal to your constitution, I think. Normal, normal. Party speed depends on what way you're characterizing, yes. Only active commands receive experience, no. Those are the only companions in your current party will get experience. If there are less than six companions, each of them will receive increased experience. I, I guess that means if. They, there's either like a, you can leave them somewhere, or if they're not in the immediate fight. Kingdom management. There's a difficult kingdom management in auto mode. The kingdom is managed without the player's participation. Okay, so. This is Kingmaker, so you have some shit. I was thinking it would be like the normal Kingmaker plotline, where at the end of it you become the king, and all is well. I was like, nah, this seems like mid-game or something. I'm not letting you back in. Go away. You're just going to bite my feet. Last Aslanti mode. The one slave slot is available, the game auto, no. God, no. That's permadeath. Next! Choose a race! Oh, choose a character. No, me. Can I not be a human? There we go. <clears throat> Do I have to be a human? There we go. Uh, you can mean Asmar, but not a tiefling? Well, that's a shame. Hmm. Shit, I don't know what to do now. I like how there's just this vampire lady here. Is that a character I can make? Can I be a vampire? Just straight up. That is the best gnome ever. Look at that brilliant chinky blue hair. Athlings with obnoxiously giant heads in this. Uh, I want to look at the classes first. <clears throat> oh god, there's so many. I got the Inquisitor class. Oh, there's, yeah, Alchemist, Inquisitor, Meg. Oh, I love Megas. Megas are great. Uh, no Slayer, sadly. Yeah, hybrid classes, which is what the Slayer is, are kind of up to your DM sort of deal, because they ha they basically combine two classes, hence the hybrid, into whatever. So you usually get <clears throat> a bit of both worlds with without having to cross class, and that was the general idea. Game, why do you do this to me? And uh, yeah, but they can be an obnoxiously powerful. Hence my Slayer that has like 1d12 dual wielding times 4 crits, 15 to 20. And then the other Slayer, um, 
Slayer perk things. I'm gonna make a Magus. So for Magus, the cl the basics of the class is ooh. Oh, sick dicks, man. That's a phrase I should never ever use again. So in Pathfinder, there's um there's the base class, and then there's alternatives that change a little bit about it. That are kind of like subclasses to it that you can pick if you want. That change some of the feats and some of the spells sometimes. Like there's ranger class subclasses that give you more combat prowess, but you don't have an animal companion. I don't know what to do! so much there's so much kitty for the love of god what no go away <sighs> I think I'm gonna be a dwarf I gotta be a dwarf it is imperative that I be a dwarf we know that much can I see what these are Body type. Give me the thickest one you got. There we go. Thick and tubby. Need that angry face. Skin tone. Eh, we got like pure white right there. That's Irish pale. Hairstyle. Where's the biggest, bushiest beard you got? No beard. That should not even be an option. What, 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 no. 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 Now, depending on what they have... Because my dwarf for Pathfinder is... Uh, my base one. Is a fighter, but he's also a locksmith. With the, the background traits. God damn what I just do. So you'd take... The fighter class, and then I guess maybe it'd be under abilities for the background traits and stuff. I don't see that anywhere. The one that gives me disabled device. I really want to play a Magus. Oh. Could play a dwarven Magus. Be weird. We're gonna be a freaking paladin. Do you want to bring back Ruford for this grand adventure? Shit, let's do it. Every game where I can make a character, we're gonna be a dwarf paladin. Because reasons. I really wish you could see what these do. I'm hovering over them. I'm sure they're... I'm sure they're, um... Video gamified. Divine caster, saving throws. Oh. Yes. Saving throws. I miss them. Skill points. Oh, yes. Fuck 5th edition. 5th edition is fine. It just... It needs skill points back. We're not gonna look like no smarmy human, are we? Got anything remotely dwarfy for a portrait? Can I make my own portrait? <gasps> yes. So can you play this with myself, or do you need to get? To join a game with others, it is fully single player and maybe multiplayer. Uh, where did I leave my portrait for my dude? We're gonna make a custom one, and I'm so glad they included this. Where the fuck is portraits? Scroll this file, those are not gonna be 
Yeah, those are not JPEGs. Okay. Where is my flash drive? Here it is. Cyber Knights. There we go. Bear with me. I have to be <clears throat> my dwarf. I need to make three separate portraits for this, apparently. This portrait is there's already an image with this file name. It's like, yes, make a copy of it. Don't replace it. Don't skip it. Fine, whatever. Do I have to... Oh, God. There are specific dimensions to it. Big enough? Should be big enough. It is not big enough. Wow, that's a big-ass portrait. Is that gonna fuck it up? How's that look? How do I do this, even? Your own setup where I just change the images. Oh! Just rename them. So... How's about now? Well, this is a lot more complex. Does it need to be a certain file type? Does it need to be a PNG? Because this is a JPEG. To Microsoft Paint. Wait, I can't save PNGs. To GIMP. I'll get to the actual gameplay eventually, don't worry. Character creation. We must pour our soul into sweet dwarfs. I could just blow this image up. <laughs> it's gonna look like shit though. Uh, what other dimension I need? 692 by 1024. Scale. Oh, it's gonna look so bad. That's not so bad. It doesn't even look that smudgy. Perfect. Export. PNG. Go! As about now. Nope. There we go. It's perfect. Look at that chest. Look at that dwarfly manliness. It's perfect. I need to make two more. Oh, what's the other one? 330 by 432. That's just cropping. Which means GIMP doesn't do that so well. And out. Or edited one. I have two files. One of them is raw. Paint 3D. 330 by. 430. You need an internet connection for this. I think I have an internet connection right now. No. 830. Oh, that's dinky. Why is that so much smaller? That's fine. We'll just get a heaping helping of chest. Done. Ah, oh, I fucked it up. Oh no, I fucked it up. Oh, I broke it. Back. Save. Forward. Save as a different file. The right folder. Go. This. Next one. It's 
It'll actually do it. Forty-two. Perfect. It fits over his head. Exactly. Save. And that should just... I'm guessing you can only upload one custom portrait. It would look like, because you just overwrite the files for one, unless it picks them all up in there? I don't know how that works. Refresh. There we go. Yeah. I said you're not welcome here. Go away. Look off, cat. She probably wants me to feed her. I'm not doing that. I should do that. That'd be, that'd be mean. Cause it still keeps this on. I don't know. Whatever. I didn't pick my class, right? Yeah. The paladin. These paladins are kick ass. What do I get as a paladin? It's my evil. Out of proficiencies. I don't get tower shields? The whole idea of a dwarf is shove on all the armor because I don't get thingies. Here's that third edition. <laughs> One of those. Maybe. Heavy stability. Oh, it does work now. What the hell? There's gonna plus for attack to bonus to maneuver events. <sighs> Combat maneuvers. The bull rush. Base speed of 20 feet, but the speed is never reduced by armor. Exactly, so you just shove on a tower shield, plate armor, everything. It's good. Being senses gives me dark vision, right? Yeah. They don't use dark vision in this. Video game. Or of courage, that means I can't be feared, right? Into fear. That was super useful, never were nights. Channel energy. Stay on head. We can probably make our side character so I can still have Omegas and stuff. What do you want? I only have two points. Charisma is my casting class, right? Paladins don't use wisdom anymore. Channel energy, bard, paladin, sorcerer's getting over bonus spells from. Yep. Oh. Oh. Eh. I think I can still have 12 dexterity with full plate on, right? That's standard. I can't use tower shields yet, but I don't think that brings it down the Tower shield. Uh, da 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 da. Rise bonus drama class, standard action, you can use the tower shield again. Grant you total cover. Playing a tower shield combo, you take an egg, kind of So, nope, nothing to deck score. Mmm! Full plate. Uh, max dex bonus plus one. So yeah, I'm right. Of course I'm right. I've been playing this for years. Of course you're welcome here, really. Not if you're a fuzzy cat that bites my ankles, though. Put the rest in intelligence just because I'd like me some skill points. Wow, these are not a lot of 
This is like a third of the actual skill list. Doing these will aid these will impact conversations. Created tech forgeries, decipher right, identify monsters, humanoids. All knowledge, geography, history, people and places. It is not here yet. Identify magic items and monsters. If I'm running on Magus, I can get a wizard or something with Arcana and better. Maybe I don't need more than two skill points. Because normally there's like ride and like double this for the skills of the normal game. Um have a balance of coordination. Have rocking test opportunity, keep your balance, escape from restraints, break falls, squeeze through tight spots. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck it, we'll do that. I need more charisma for spells anyways. Do I get 9 is 2 as a dwarf, really? But dwarves can be charming. They're just brat. Oh boy, the feats. Mm. Oh god, the feats, there's so many! Okay! Where's my tower shield proficiency? Deity selection and a feat. Uh, I don't want weapon focus yet. <laughs> Pretty sure you can get proficiencies through feats. Here we go. Tower shield proficiency. I'm going to be the tank. Get info about the gods. Serious Dwarven God of the Forge, Protection, and Strategy. There's a lot less uh, deities in Pathfinder than there is in Dungeons and Dragons. In Dungeons and Dragons, there's like freaking. I want to say 50, but that sounds still too low. There's a buttload of deities. In Pathfinder, there's like 8. Well. 10 or 12. Because these are all the gods I can take as a paladin. If I take another class, I might be able to worship the evil gods. <clears throat> Tori is the dwarf god of goodliness and good stuff, so Torag it is. Do I get anything for doing this? Bear weapon, war hammer. Or is it just, you're a paladin, do this. Maybe it'll impact... These bill off loses all paladin spells and class features. That game paladin levels after. Yeah, I'm gonna get chaotic so fast as a dwarf though. Oh well. And Oof. Select alignment. Can I be a non-good paladin? <laughs> Didn't think so. Yeah, the only one that lets me touch is that one. We do it my way. All I see is blackness. Strike as one. A solid plan. You're done for. Which one is just dwarf? You start I screaming and raving. Sweat. All this waiting bores me. We cannot be defeated. With accent. Adventures. Of I have no need. Let us press on. To defeat our eyes. To let our eyes. To let our eyes. To, to let us. That one works. Ends here. Is it my birthday? Yes. 
it's my real birthday. Talk dwarfy. Perfect. Tower shield, full play, warhammer. I'm going to be the wall. Let's do it. Ours most followers despise any intervention in a soul's afterlife except for resurrection. Creating undead is the greatest sacrilege in their eyes. That is the god of the afterlife, but not, you know, Our story asshole afterlife. The of an Aldori sword lord, drawn by the promise of a most <clears throat> dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward. Heroes of all stripes gathered here. I was expecting more. But okay. There I am. I have a longbow. Where are There's a they? paladin. It's taking forever. It didn't even say what this was for. Just that the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway? Rich folk. That's the if barbarian. Be patient. No one's keeping you here. I think these are the Just standard Pathfinder you know, default uh, you out. adventure characters. The the they recognize that. They're also the Bridget. richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with nice. them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. I don't like that gnome. Pretty sure that's a gnome. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. So gnomes and Pathfinder are cool. They're actually, like, really closely related to Fae. Well, really in term relation to D&D's gnomes, which are... Very, 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 very distantly removed from Fey. Pathfinder gnomes are a lot closer. Hush, quiet. They're coming. Look at that jaunt. You know he's a noble with that stride. I see an elf. Greetings, everyone. I am. Oh no, she's an elf. Jamandi Aldori. And this is Lord Mayor Joseph Salimius of Restal. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restal needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, None of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restolf would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands. And no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? I was thinking the same thing as number two, is why not just recognize him as the Baron? It, is it because he's a weird bandit dude and you y'all don't like the murder and stealing? That's a good point. Shut up, elf. See it, this stag lord that was my question. Holds power over the region with <clears throat> confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? She even has the like posh asshole accent because and alliteration. Mm, yes. This room has seen many celebrations yeah. of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> That's one thing that's never happened here. And it won't, while I still breathe. Both team of us who exactly will see this title. I'm guessing she doesn't mean us. Probably somebody... Although it's eventually going to end up being us, obviously. Because of the... Setting. Kingdom. Managed stuff. Am I just going to go tromp around adventuring even as... A lord? People starving. City racked with crime. Nah, bitch, magical adventure. I will, of 
course. I'm the leader of this team after all. Don't worry. Hey, we're killing the gnome. Make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? I see three other dwarves here. I'm a mech dwarf team. The title, when we'll most likely lose Four. Our lives there. There's five dwarves. I wonder if I can um, create <coughs> custom companions. Answer the question. Although they seem to be all voiced. So, it's probably going to be a Divinity Original Sin 2 thing where I probably want to take the, um, the pre-generated people. Just for their we input and fun and role-playing. Of a noble title. Over the course oh, of your expedition, do do? it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. It is I, the main character. Lucas Fat of Verity, what do you yeah, what Don't do you get? Stupid questions. Why should you even care? <laughs> what they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. I'm gonna smite him so fucking hard. Of course, hard. we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. So, if we do kill the gnome... I'm pretty sure we started out at the pinnacle pick, peak of lawful good. We can get away with one or two or three horrible slaughter murders. And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, will help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Gonna make a sweet words, dwarf kingdom. Words, words. Significant, okay. It'll be short. I can't fill but my crap. belly with pretty words. Of course, there will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rustov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. Clear as day. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The fire in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. All right, I'm engaged. First quest is to go clear an entire Hi. land of Hi. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? She's mine. I claim her. Likewise. She's adorable. I also wanted to ask you something. You're the only non-dwarf. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty the obnoxious gnome? personally. He appointed think he's a himself gnome. head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Barons wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This, this is the person I'll write my book about. Book. Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just watch your mouth, young book. lady. This is a good Christian stream. Only I can cuss. Oh God, there's dialogue that's not voiced. <clears throat> You know what the trouble is with most heroes' biographies is they're always written years later based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case, someone who heard about it from their brother, who heard about it from their friend, who heard about it from their cousin, and so on. I think a new batch of lies each time. And every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it down all properly? And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? 
And here we are. She will be my deacon. A journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Be Some amazing. dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or God's forbid, Tartuccio. No. <laughs> I was way. about to say, I just noticed that elf there has a fucking scythe. What an edgelord. We're not bringing her. Is this game free? God, no. It's 40 bucks. Which is surprising. I thought it would be like 60. It is on Steam. It is in the title of the stream. Probably going to be a good game. Because the only complaints about it on the <laughs> Steam reviews are people own toasters. It's a bit buggy in places. The difficulty is out of whack in some places. And the natural, uh, it crashes on launch for me. Bad review. Bad game. These are not things that make the game bad. These are things that are to be patched and fixed. Every game has problems. Don't give a game a bad review for being buggy. Or a little bit cattywampus. That's not indicative of the gameplay itself. <laughs> Unless the game is, you know, obviously... Like... God, what's a good word for it? Unless it's obviously a hack job that they rushed out the door. <laughs> Which, then again, that's going to reflect in the gameplay and the graphics and the everything. There's going to be shit that is half-assed and everything. Etc, etc. I need a free game. Um, Go get Daggerfall. Because you can fuck it with... You can uh, fuck with it with DOSBox. And it's free... On Bethesda's website. It's older shit, but it's a good game. Not a bad plan, it's settled and accomplished feats. You write them, dude. Deal. Yeah. Alright. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Where the other dwarves go? You're there. Ah, oh, that's just a normal adventure. Where the other dwarves go? There's the other dwarves. Aw. Um. Can't talk to actual people? In due time. Oh god, I have to talk to the gnome. Oh, thank god, I don't actually have to talk to him. These ones are just generic NPCs, except for a couple. I, I don't know. Move your camera. Yup. Hello! Nobody wants to talk to me. They're all just making small talk at me. It's because I'm short, isn't it? What do I get? Charge! Yes. One enemy within zero feet. The circle is not zero feet. I mean, it's like an actual real life foot if I were to put it on my screen. My feet are huge. Trade affliction! Trade affliction means attend a single disease or poison character. Make a lower legend check. If you see the DC, affliction is removed. Do character once per day. Smart Ebel Weapon sets. Don't have a leaf. Like a button. What's this? Belt. Abilities. Um, what are more passive stuff over here? Where's my land hands? Do I not get land hands yet? Wait, that was taking a third level. I'm there. And I anchor my camera to my Mr. Man. No, but that's okay. What else we got here? Pretty ramshackle little sword you got there. One paladin. That's me. How do I change weapon sets? How do I quick save? The quick save key that everybody uses. Yep, see, I'm all the way in lawful good. We could get away with murdering a couple mouthy gnomes. Hmm. No good ideas, Bo. It's a game. It's a video game. 
like how this on my special is has deity selection instead of my actual deity. I think they should have replaced those with the things you chose. Um. Here we go, spell book. I get no spells at level one. Dinsey's journal. Would I have this even if I told her to piss off because I'm an asshole? How do you say no to that face? I was hoping you're going to be playing this. I am. Look, any game like this that comes out that's worth its salt, uh, you can pretty much guarantee I'll, I'm playing and going to be playing. Unless I don't know about it. Dear God, there's meta magic. Meta magic is different now. Is this? Oh, I just like color code it, so I know it's, okay, that's interesting. I'm guessing you put a spell there, select the meta magic feat you want to use, and then you can decorate it and make it fancy so you know what it looks like and it's meta magic. I wasn't sure if I was going to buy it or not, but I hope to see if you would enjoy it. We'll see. I want to, I, I have high hopes for it. Because the only ba I, I just said this like 10 minutes ago, the only bad reviews for it on Steam are technical problems, not actual game problems. The difficulty, I guess, is a bit of a game problem, but that can be tweaked. Eat. Wish I could anchor my camera to my dude. I probably can, I just haven't found out how yet. Spell book. And I'll map. Ooh, it's like a 3D model. Ah, and I can move in it. I must. We'll play that entire game like this. Let's not. That sounds weird. Camp. Uh, hold. Picture formation. Sweet. Ah, uh, I was hoping I could drag him around and stuff. I can drag them around and stuff. Sweet. Make my own formations. Okay. Let's go find out where my room is because I can't talk to anybody even though the lady said talk to people. I'm, off. I'm sad. I wanted to converse with my dwarfly fellows. Someone detailed over from a guy who in detail... Who in a lot of detail talked about the random encounter difficulty being terrible. Yeah, that's one of the the more common complaints of the game. I don't really care because quick load. And I quick save like compulsively. So I don't think that's gonna be a problem for me, and if it is, just reload. It's our weird, weird unicorn men. That's not well, that's not too big of a gripe. Help! Help! Lindsay bursts into your room. She looks scared. Her face smeared with soot, and she holds a weapon in her hands. Is this a joke? What's going on? Mansion's under attack. We need to help. Okay. Some Get me my sword. I already have everyone. I barely made it. Hurry! We have to help the guards fight off the attackers, or we'll all be cut down one by one. Blood creeps to her words. Screams echo from the hallway. Let's go! You're not going anywhere. I am a dwarf, sir. You get out of my way. General, combat up happens in real time, but you can pause the game. And Ooh, interesting. At any time. I was thinking it was going to be turn-based. Any time to assess the situation when you have a space bar, click on your opponent in order to attack them. Most game mechanics are based on Pathfinder role-playing game system, as you would assume. Use dice rolls to determine that his actions most common die as a d20 side. Yeah. The battle strategy each kind of next initiative. So basic tabletop stuff. Attack rolls, damage, armor class. Life ends here. This will hurt. Go smack him. <laughs> Nobody messes with a dwarf. Yeah. 
Can I loot stuff while I'm here? I don't think the camera can be turned. The assassin's already here. Follow me, quickly. Follow the lady. Look, there they are. They gotta tell that we have to help. Is that the gnome? Can we just let him die? That's the gnome, isn't it? Damn it. Fine. Get him! So initiative is your... How often you're... Do, just do things. Time. A bit longer, and I'd have been. Oof, I yes. Want to think about it. A and bit longer. What a terrible loss this would have been. But gotcha. it's all right now. I'm safe, sound, and unscathed, ready to lead you to victory. Lady Jamandi is holding the line in the banquet hall. You know, the one where she had us gathered before. We need to make our way to her, and along the <clears> way we'll try to save some of these dummies. Who are I think I'm getting a cold. I don't want to get a cold. Speaking of dummies, take this ring. Quiet now, so that little fool doesn't hear us. She might try to steal it herself. Wow! It's magical. It'll protect you. You'll need it while you work to defend me. Rude. We should move. There we go. Just to spite him. Oh, I can't actually give it to him. Petuccio's <laughs> present, a fancy gold ring, and signature can monograph, personal gift for Petuccio to Ruford. This guy is it's a fucking ring of armor. Yay! I can be even more tanky. What is my AC anyways? What kind of armor do I have? Gale nail. Five. Seventeen. That's pretty good AC for level one. I have sixteen flat footed, yeah, because I only have Did I yeah, I took the twelve decks. Dwarf with a sword? Uh, look, it, I'm just using what it gave me. I, eventually, I'm going to have full plate, a tower shield, and a war hammer, and it's going to be wonderful. I like how the model, the head is obnoxiously huge, but in the portrait, it's not. Pathfinder's halflings are a little... warped. <laughs> what do you got here? Scrolls of Cure Light Wounds. Oceans. I got spells, right? It's a... Bard? That wound spell. What are you, a wizard, I'm guessing? A sorcerer? Of what bloodline? Draconic. No wonder he's an asshole. It's fucking red dragon blood? Uh, how do I get... I don't tolerate oh, yeah, there we go. Fail. Okay, cool. So you can go cantrips, whatever. And then set them there as needed. Array of Frost. Jolt. Gaze is really good early on. I think. Yeah. Yeah, Daze is great at early levels because it doesn't have a saving throw. Well, I mean, it does. It says will. Fuck off. I'm good. That's enough stuff. Shut up. Disrupt Undead. That'll be okay. I don't think we're going to see Undead for a while. I hope I get a smile Undead. You don't use charge. Persuade them to be demoralized in combat. That's cool. Bunch of fatigue. We're probably not going to be in melee. I think mostly Acid Splash and Ray of Frost is what I'm going to want. I like how the Acid Splash descriptor is, the orb deals 1 to 3, and in parentheses, 1 to 3 points of damage, and the rest of them are just 1 to 3, 1 to 3, not d3, 1 d6, magic missile, magic missile is going to be kind of lame compared to burning hands until later, <clears throat> I don't know, it's 1 d4, 1 d4 plus 1, <laughs> burning hands is... What you got here? Move through a threat and scar without probably good attacks of opportunity by using acrobatics. It would have speed. That'll be good for getting away. Grow claws? Oh, that's his draconic bloodline thing. Ah, oh, I should have took a look at the sorcerer bloodlines in the creation. 
because there's some fun ones. Like, um, I like the Serpentine Bloodline, because you get Diplomacy as a skill, which I just like Diplomacy. I guess it'll be Persuade now. Yeah, they changed the Persuasion. They they truncated them a little bit into the same skills. You really need food, don't you? Uh, <laughs> but I'm playing video games, kitty! It's not even five yet. Got an hour and a half to wait, then I'll feed you. Drug class is a free action. It's called a natural weapon, allowing you to doubt it. Bah. <laughs> 1d3 plus strength. It does one damage. He has six strengths, so 1d3 minus two. He can do one damage or zero damage. We're never going to ever use that. Ever. That's so bad. Why do you have six strength? She is stronger than you! It's because he min maxes charisma. How'd you get 20 charisma and 16 constitution and 14 dex? I think he cheated. Maybe not, because he did strip all his strength. The hero's chronicler skips after. Powerful swords that can burn an enemy with Chris with the flick of his finger. Unfortunately, his power is matched only by his arrogance. <laughs> Wonder why his power is always good as such self-satisfied people. And see the author of the, the Book of You. My dear reader, hold in your hands. Ooh. That's interesting. So it's storytelling from, like, if you're reading this from a toe rather than video game. One study that the Academy of the Arts and Pitax, and a desire to be a, that a real bard doesn't belong within the suffocating walls of some school. Instead, of set out to find a hero, what worthy being praised throughout the ages. That's how I came to chronicle Rufford's journey in the stolen lands. Okay. We're all level one. Yes. Chaotic evil, I'm not fucking surprised. Which means kicking his teeth in isn't gonna give me bad boy points. We just need a reason. I'm sure there'll be a time where I can just attack him because he's being an asshole. <laughs> oh, it'll be satisfactory. I wanna go look at the sorcerer bloodlines real quick. Because those are always fun. And see if they have, because there's dozens of bloodlines in Pathfinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't care. Class, sorcerer. Bloodline. Oh, geez, there's so many. Most of them are dragon, though. You can be the serpent bloodline in this. You could eventually turn into a snake. You get a familiar, a snake familiar, at some point too. That's a little, little viper. You can get a poisonous bite. This emphasizes enchantment spells as well. Uh, I don't think you get the familiar in this. Doesn't look like it. Hypnotism, delay poison, summon monsters, poison, poison. I guess they replaced it with summon monster. We might get that anyways, huh? Fight for the aspect, and then clue. Turn yourself to a large spirit naga. Ugh. Fucking huge. Bless you, look, an abyssal. Yay! They separated abyssal and infernal. Good job. They bloodline. Sadly, we can't be a wild sorcerer. I would love to be a wild mage in a game like this. Undead bloodline. Uh, so sorcerers get their power from their ancestors. I always wondered how the fucking undead bloodline works. Did you bang a corpse? It's like, I guess vampires or something, but... Yeah, I guess vampires. If that even works. Although sorcerer bloodlines cannot necessarily be... Your ancestors did the dirty and got funky with weirdness in that kinky, kinky way. But, um... 
They can be like infused with power as well. There's a lot of ways a sorcerer can come about. Just the most common one is you're born that way. Did you bring me your ball cat? I had a stress ball. It's now a cat toy. All right, you get over here. I don't tolerate fools. It's time to act. Okay, I want to edit my formation real quick, like. You two stay back there. Together. On top of each other. I'll be in the front. Maybe not that far back. Because if something gets behind us, there. What does that look like? That's decent. Can I loot the dudes? Gimme. I didn't loot the guy in my room. Ain't shirt. Not as good as my scale mail. Oh no, someone died. Better take their stuff before it'll go to waste. Oh no! I can't scroll with my mouse on the left side of my screen because it just goes to my second monitor. Is that poison? Incense. Pretty well pay with it. My skills are absolute. Will your child be anime bloodline? What'd you even do for that? God, I can imagine that being fucking homebrewed. It probably is somewhere. Like magical girl bloodline or some crap. You get the power to transform into you in a brightly colored, tight fitting dress. Companions. There are several companions in your party now. To select a single character, click on their portrait or press the corresponding alt key. Little characters. Once they get the same orders, drop from a frame around the whole thing. The combat of this is just like in Neverrunner Nights. Real time, but initiative role based and such. I was kind of expecting uh, turn based, but. Not complaining. Can you make an epic pose? I need inspiration. This will hurt! Don't you attack my girl. You should I'm gonna won. intercept him. Why are they. No! Oh, wait, that's the gnome. Go right ahead. Do. An enemy creature within close range. You only spell for scream and all of that. Those days for one round takes 26 points of sonic damage. Watch you play that anime game a while back with a girl in the window. Galgun? That was a game. Oh god, the memories. Um, days. Oh shit, there's two bowmen. Uh, you just get behind the wall there. Advanced combat. Lindsay and Tartusio capable of crafting spells. Do you spell right click the icon? Done. Target your commander and enemy for collectors. Major paladin range in this. Spells are prepared in advance. They spend in the cast. Your master. Or the inquisitor and sorcerer can use their spells several times per day, but their spell repertoire is limited. There's a very character. I know how spells work. Most characters have abilities, yep. Max should perform those close to an armed opponent. Can I get a disarm thing? Holding down unknown binding. While the game is paused, you can make time move slowly. For better combat controls. Shift space. How about this button? Slow. They're still going for. It also pauses. Smack him. Get him. I wish I could turn the camera. Can I run to the camera? Position, move, camera, no, it's locked. 
だけです Get now. You just can line a side him. Good job, you hit the pillar. We did it, he's almost dead. Should have let him die. It is a certain number of hit points. Yeah, yeah, they die. For lots of hit points, you can use healing spells with potions and stuff. Venable items such as scrolls. What he has, Cure Light Wounds. Go. Yes, yes. We Keep. We're good. Now loot the bodies. That's a lot of healing potions. Gimme. Oh, that is many healing potions. They're gonna be focusing my asshole sorcerer. Okay, cool. The stat the inventories are all shared. I just have to shove them in the slot. I like that. Belt. Just give me anything. Oh, it's a ring. <laughs> Thought it was a belt. Uh, daggers. You guys are. Do I not? Yeah, I did. So it's kind of shared between all the people down there. I'm gonna say, do I not have like an inventory inventory limit? Because this only went up when I equipped stuff. So that's their equip limit, that's their... Uh, there are cane casters, so I don't want to give them that chain shirt at all. Even though bards can technically wear light armor, do you have light armor anyways? Inventory. Other armor, 10% arcane failure, 20%. 10% okay, 20% is too much for me. There is, um, in the normal Pathfinder at least, there's a feat that reduces arcane spell failure on armors down to a minimum of five, I think it reduces by 10 down to five. That'd be cool to have, and then we could give her a chain shirt. That's an orc. Could even try to defend themselves, but dude, fuck asshole. Of course, he's chaotic evil. Why am I not surprised? At least he's the cunning, conniving kind of chaotic evil, not the chaotic, stupid kind of chaotic evil. Cooking Almanac of the Inner Sea by Jubilast Narthropol. That's a gnome if I've ever heard of that name. Gimme. Take everything. Take it all. A kitty! Yes. Look at that cat. He's so short. He's stumpy. He has, he's like missing some spinal columns. Vertebrae. Hi. That's a cat. And there she is. You. Silver ring. We're just looting the place. Why not? Look, it's our payment for saving everybody's asses. She's a barbarian, so I'm. We, we might not even have to help her. Don't hold back. Yeah. Barbarian things. I like how I just walk up to them. Is that my twenty percent or twenty foot movement speed? I walk instead of run. You stay up from under my feet, or I'll strike you down. You're threatening me. Blood for Gorum. All right, she can threaten me. Barbarians. I'm okay with that one. I think that's exactly how heroes should be. What? Stupid, sweaty, and always looking for something to gobble up or lop the head off of? Calistria, save me from such heroes. I don't like him. She did leave her loot, though. There they are, the assassins. Kitty, don't eat that. Go over there. I should probably be reading that dialogue that's happening right there. Damn it! Fucking 
Fork. Oh! Suddenly Ogre. What did I miss? That might be a giant, actually. We're just standing here, not fucking with the Frost Giant or Ogre. It is a Frost Giant. That's a lot of damage. And loot. Yes. Aww. Passage blocked. You cannot make it through this way. Can I take this armor? Uh, da 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 da. Long sword. Bring to a club. One d six bludgeoning. Yeah, long swords are one d eight. Two foot. If he is just melee range. So does better crit range, anyways. What's this? A spear. Oh, it doesn't have reach on it. I wonder if there are reach weapons in this game. Missing any doors. This interactive object requires a skill check. This skill check may be needed. Kitty, what are you doing? That's my headphone cable. So I let her back in because she was being annoying. All right, there we go. <clears throat> where am I? Where, where can I lie? Scroll in. Either there's no limit to the uh, to the camera on off going off the edge of the map, or this is a huge map. Oh, accessible and variety of task unlocking a door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, d things require certain things. Gotcha. Go! What happens if I have, like, no dexterity and can't get over that? Or do I just take damage? Come on, fuckers! Look at that tiny shield. I'm getting flanked, though. It doesn't matter, but... Oh, you hit me with that. Sort of. Visually. Please stop that. We'll get him eventually. Come on. There we go. Max damage. Oh. It's almost max damage. They do have a plus three in strength. Anything else? Break the door to the armory and find some weapons. Yes! Where's the armory? This looks armorish. There's a tab key to highlight all interactive. Ooh, cool. Yes! Interactive objects. Give them to me. A mace is like a small hammer. Banded mail. That's better than mine. Breastplate. Not as good as banded mail. Watchkeeper key, tower shield. What have we here? This chest is full of gold. I guess it's for the guard's salaries. All things considered, well, those freeloaders don't seem to have been working too hard for it. Maybe we should pocket it instead. What? No, we're heroes, not thieves. Who said we were stealing it? We'll just take the gold for safety so the assassins don't get it. And then, we can heroically return it to Jamandi when this is all over. I mean, I'm kind of on the page of that, is take it for now. But he also, he means we're not giving it back. Because he's an asshole. I take it and give it to the lady. Like, we protected this. It's for the guards. They'd love us. Yay. How would she know it was us and not the assassins? Unless someone planned on telling He is a gnome. Don't drag me into this. You do what you want, but I'm not taking a single coin. Walk away. We're a good boy. Why can't I run anymore? It is a carry a limited amount of weight. Yeah, 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 I know that. 
Why can't I run anymore? Oh, that's why. All right, fine. Yeah. Now that's a dwarf. Seven, six. Mace. Ah, it's only 1d6. Longsword's better. Padded armor. I don't think he can use any armors, no. For padded armor plus one, that'd be nice, but. Too early to get magic. Enlarge person. Yes! I'll take that. Short bow. Got a long bow on me. Do I have to equip ammo? I think so. Doesn't look like anywhere. Yeah, that reduces my attack by two. But goddamn, look at all that armor! That's so much armor! Maybe I shouldn't have taken tower shield proficiency. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone with, you know, large shields. Oh well, I took it as a feat. We're gonna use it. I'm going to be the wall. We had to drop some stuff though. Drop. Drop. Here we had a quick drop stuff. Shift clicking. Can I run with this load? I do what I must. Maybe. Oh, oh god damn it, the elf. I hope you're not so frightened as to swing at every shadow. It's me, Jathol. I don't recommend advancing down the hallway, assuming you value your life, of course. There were a few people with me, and you can see what happened to them. And just how did they all end up dead while you don't seem to have a scratch? I'll answer but briefly and just once. Elves. Scares and explanations will wait until we aren't being hunted by a group of assassins. Deal? All right. I'm undead. These traps are deadly to the living, but they're harmless to me. What do you mean undead? Where is my spite really? button? Like zombies or skeletons spite. or might be a revenant As though. I said, revenants are okay. Undead. All you need to know right now is that we're on the same side, and we have to fight off a small army of hired assassins. Let's get to it. I don't like. Her. I don't trust her. Share your will. What are you? Oh. You a vampire? I don't see racial anywhere. Wish she's an elf. An, inquis an undead inquisitor? An elf from Kyonin. When he's not quite alive, the elves exalt her from her kingdom for her terrible deeds. Did you know how many patterns brought her in a leader's banner? His little heater companions does whatever she wants. She behaves as she's ready to as if she's ready to bite their heads off. She gives them creeps. The death domain. That's right, Inquisitors get one uh, cleric domain. Undead creature! No constitution score. Raise back the small portion of health at the end of combat should she fall in battle. Orisons are just a fancy word for cantrips. 
I want to see what specifically she is, though. I'm going to guess a Revenant. Because Revenants are, like, the standard, not... I mean, she is evil, but... She's either a Vampire or a Revenant. I wouldn't guess Vampire because she die in daylight. Yeah, all it just says is undead and undead. We'll have to figure it out ourselves. Alright, fine. You get to live for now. We'll smite her later. When we have reason. She's obviously not a good revenant, because evil. Look here. Yes. State your desire. Go walk through that and trip it. How curious. Yeah, come in. There we go. We're good. There you are. And then the traps are gone. <laughs> I think she was literally just there to set to for you to throw her through them. That's great. Interesting. Fucking scythe. An un undead elf with a goddamn scythe. This, oh, it's so edgy. Masterwork scythe, that's not bad. God, you're so fucking edgy. Ugh. I'm off. Disgusts me dwarfly sensibilities. Ooh, hello. Little faith. Little bless. Found a scroll, saying who he is, yeah. Do I need UMD to cast it as a paladin? Use that. I can use this. What you dallying for? Telling you, Jumanji's cash has to be here some ways. Hurry up before I stop. Someone's Let's coming. Make these Fuck him up! I can see through this. I never did like that silhouette effect. Crunch. Oh, they're just they're just a pile. I have made a puddle of gore. I take that horseshoe. It's a good horseshoe. Isn't that have something to do with the other room as well? Obviously, that's a door behind that painting there. Yeah. Oh, that that was easy. Okay. We did it! We did the puzzle. What's this? Card figurine. Decorated scabbard. Look, we won't take the guard's salary, but I'm, I'm taking all this shit. It's not giving me an alignment shift. We're fine. I have to fund my adventures. I mean, she said she was going to fund my adventures anyways, so... Where do I go from here? There's no other doors. Yes. Oh, that's okay. 
As the key I found in the army probably goes to that gate. Charge! How do I get back over this? Can I not get back over this? Can't get back over that. Okay, oh yeah. Now, qu same question. Where the fuck do I go now? One would assume. Maybe that did open. That's the way forward. This one just opens to a stash. This one's an escape room. Maybe? 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 No. We have to make them all go down now. Did I do it? I did it. <clears throat> okay. Something in here I missed? No. I was right! Yes! Oh, there's just more stash. God dang it. Bond of missiles. Actually, pretty good. There we go. Use it wisely. Alright, same question still. Where go? Oh, there we go. The giant door here, that's kind of hard to see. They need to light that up a bit more. Which would be nice. Kill him! Stop dying. Kill them, not they kill you. Freaking elf not listening. Oh, a dude! Unworthy. Got boys. Potions. Help the wounded dwarf. I'm coming, brother. Grotus, I can sense your silhouette hovering over me. It won't be much longer. Soon. Is he gonna be evil too? God damn it! Lord of Oblivion. The dialogue for example when trying to give his character something. The check was a little determined in the dynamics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong? I'm dying. I knew this expedition was doomed. Oh, Grotus, my vision darkens. You think of it premature, look at yourself, you barely got a scratch. Let's try that. It's impossible. <laughs> oh, it, uh, it seems you might be right. Why is the dwarf? <laughs> That's not very dwarfly. Uh, it, uh, it seems I will live. I suppose I must postpone meeting my god. Not for long, I'm sure. Maybe but he'll be. Remain in this transient world, Arim is at your service. Maybe he'll lighten up through the course of the campaign when everything's not all doom and gloom. For God, this guy's evil too. Yeah, it's good enough. Servant of a dark god. Ugh! Me and the halfling are the only good guys here. Wah! Spell conversion. Clerics and druids cannot can convert their spells spontaneously. Cleric with good alignment doesn't need to prepare healing spells. They can spend all of them. Cleric with alignment doesn't need to prepare inflict spells. Yeah, so that's just... If you have slots for the, that level, you can cast a healing spell at that level. Or arm if you're a bad guy. I don't think neutral gets that, do they? Or can they do both? Because neutral can choose what it can for the supposed to cure inflict. 
Graves can convert almost any spell into a summon nature's ally. Bitty. What you got? That's a nice mace. A nice shield. What's your armor look like? Chainmail! Yeah, that's pretty good. I need a divine caster, so no failure chance. Pretty fucking cool mace, though. What spells do you got? How did... Uh... Chaos domain and destruction domain. He is a bad guy. Isn't he? I'm gonna use the domain spells. Don't count as a slot. There's that fifth edition. Hmm, Bless is really good. How do I tell if it's memorized or not? Was that just going to be if it's... Like that? Or does it do it on... Rest. Probably the page that says spells memorized, you know. Down there, okay. Alright, we're good. Let's move on. Uh, we gotta edit the thingy, though. You there, you've got armor and stuff. Do this formation seems okay. We charge up to the courtyard, or er, well, the hall place. Reformation is half of any victory. Yeah, I just did that. <clears throat> Those aren't assassins. Those are guards. Hello. You run and get an axe. You bring more water. You stay here and hold our defense. Those assassins are still around here somewhere. Oh, they're dead. Aha! Some of our guests survived. Good. You need to get to the banquet hall and help Lady Jamandi. I'll go immediately. Lady Goodbye. Abadar, keep you safe. Yeah, bye. Go through the fire. Well, this is gonna be fun. I fear nothing. I am a dwarf. Ouch. Illustrated book episodes. Game of Thrones out as illustrated book episodes. The decision you make during these episodes can have a drastic impact on the development of the game's plot. As the dialogues, you'll have to get, need to make various skill checks during these episodes, depending on the circumstances. Sometimes you'll need to choose one of your party members to perform an action. Sometimes that action will be automatically performed by the character with the highest skill bonus. And so our adventure started earlier and more tragic than we'd expect. The whole team who'd gathered in the hall yesterday had been reduced to a handful of brave souls, led by Rufford, and not by that scoundrel Takashio. No matter what he might have imagined himself, Jumandi Aldori was waiting for us, but to get to her, we'd have to march through the fire, literally. As we approached the burning building, we drenched ourselves with buckets of water, tried to find a uh, cover our nose and mouth, and rushed inside. Just buckets of water. Food is the key to victory before moving through the fire. We wet our clothes and our hair after that. We covered our nose and mouths, rushed inside. I think we hadn't wasted any time after entering the building and taking just a few steps forward, the wall behind us. Slanted and crashed down with a terrible cracking sound, blocking our way back while well, we would not have planned on going back. If we come a little later, the flaming logs and red hot bricks would have fallen right on our heads. Regardless, we're only left one way to go. 
The hot air burned our lungs and our eyes watered from the smoke, but Rufford led us stubbornly through the flames while Takashia did nothing useful at all. We made it through the hallway leading to the banquet hall. When we heard someone calling for us, it was Valerie, one of the guards. I chatted with a bit with the, the guards I chatted with a bit at the banquet hall. Even then in that con setting, I'd been stunned by her beauty. Uh, the halfling's a lesbian. But now amid the smoke and the uh, flames, she looked like a celestial avenger, an armored deity. It's an Asmar, isn't it? Menacing but beautiful, and the merciful head and merciful descending from higher spheres to help us poor mortals. She held a burned, barely living guard in her arms. There are two more, she shouted as she passed us by. There are wounded, help pull them out. Takashio grumbled something about how Jumanji was waiting for us. Meanwhile, should leave them and join us as a rush to save the guards from the fire. I have athletics. I failed it. I do not have athletics. I have a plus three because of my strength, though. The poor fellow is harder than a seed. We can have a lot of smoke and various sales more than we can imagine. Only then Valerie paused to catch her breath before her sweater cut her face. Thank you, that was truly noble of you. Did I get them away? Yes, but I got burnt. Truly noble of you. Now let us rush to Lady Eldari's aid. I'm sure the guards we'd rescued were relatively safe. We'd made it to the hall and ready. And the battle was in full swing. That's kind of cool. A little more story element to it. One of your characters is fatigued. All of my characters is fatigued, except for that freaking undead that can't be. They just want a negative condition that can affect you in the game. You notify the character on the effect symbol. It'll appear next to you. Yes. <coughs> Cannot charge and take negative advantage of the strength of dexterity. Doing anything that would cause normal fatigue. Does the character become exhausted? After complete rest, fatigue is no longer fatigued. I'm there. Charge! She's an Azamar, isn't she? And a human. Lawful neutral. That's okay. When you leave the location, you're going to be uncollected loot from defeated enemies inside if you want to take it or leave it behind. That's nice. Look from other sources, such as plants, chests, and hidden stashes, may have to be collected manually. How do I do this? Oh. That's cool. I can take anything I drop. Fresh plate's really good. I am your shield. Uh, take that. You got banded mail. It's better AC. Can I compare? Yes, I can. Uh, six, six, negative four. Price plate's better than that. Charge! Probably save first. Fuck it, let's go. True dragons live to a thousand years or more, becoming more powerful with each year's passing, usually elder dragons. Basically means more dangerous dragon. That's a lot of dudes. Got a fire weapon against a frost giant. That's, that's, that's pretty good. Charge! You cannot stand against me. This is gonna fucking hurt. <laughs> uh, you there? You have cure light wounds. You'll hurt. Shit, wait, no, she's undead! Will Cure Light Wounds work, or will it hurt her? I don't actually know in Pathfinder. I do know in 3rd edition, uh, Healing Hurts Undead. And Inflict Wounds. They might have changed that for the video game. Come equipped with healing potions. No. She doesn't die, though. How do 
do I get him to convert one of his thingamajews to uh, inflict wounds? <clears throat> That's the spiky thing. Does she have that? It should heal herself. Yep. I'm right. Come on, get in there. Where are you guys running? Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Dead. Heal them up. You're all the way over there. What are you doing? No! Come here. Come on. Get in there. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, manticores. Who died? No one. We're good. This spell's purpose is different. You can't heal yourself. Oh, that's tree affliction. Anything is possible. An awful lot like cure light wounds. Put those on his bar. Oh boy. I keep for that. B. Doesn't have prepared, that's why. Rude. Alright. We did it! Now loot. Oh, that's some good stuff. For the magic bracers. Poisons. Potions. Potion, potion, potion. These are poisons, right? Acid flasks. Alchemist fire. Potion bark skin. Braces of armor plus one. So braces of armor are... It doesn't stack with your actual armor armor, so it's good to give it to a wizard. It has no armor. It does work, right? Thank you for your valor and bravery. The enemy was strong, but you were stronger. And that means I made the right choice. Just as I thought. God, my neck hurts. I slept wrong last night. I'm especially grateful to them for the courage and common sense they showed while defending the mansion. But this attack means we have even less time than I thought. Someone already knows of our plans and is acting against us. Oh, no, spooky. Shit, there was more. Please, I know who arranged this attack. <laughs> the vile uh. king of Pitax, Iroveti. What's more, I know who among us works for him. Hey, you! Show everyone the ring you're wearing. You think I wouldn't recognize Iroveti's seal? That's why he was Are killed. Ah. Oh. The recognized him as one of their own by this signet ring. Are you tit? You're the one who gave me the ring. Such a gambit would be typical of Iravetti and his henchmen. And yet, it still seems suspicious. Can I kill the gnome now? There's definitely a spy among us. But who? All I have is one word against another. I'm a uh, paladin. I'm a paladin. Is that not enough to... <laughs> that should be enough to, like, you know... Absolve me of any guilt right there. It's like I'm a paladin. Oh shit. I bet my life despise anyone but this man. I exactly. Saw how he dealt with those creeps with my own eyes. A true warrior. I like it. Go with him through hell and high water. This purple crook. On purple crook. <laughs> He's got the eyes of a spy. Careful. And the mug of a spy. With the carpet. Lady Aldori, don't listen to this thick-headed barbarian. She doesn't know what she's talking about. During the attack, our leader showed his true colors. He forced us to break into the armory and rob it. I am so, 
So killing him. So killing him. We gave him a trespass. It's fine defense. Yeah, but the bad. Can I just do the lawful good one and say for the righteous? Considering the circumstances, that was more than reasonable. From the lawful neutral action. I get points. That was a sound decision. Sometimes one must act at one's own risk and peril until crossing the boundaries of what is allowed. Showing initiative is no crime. If the character is good or evil, lawful or chaotic. Yay! There is alignment shit, so that's cool. Hi there! Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Showing initiative is no it crime. It's insane when faced with death to stop and question whether you may be breaking some law or rule. Even more insane would be to ask forgiveness for making the right decision. Sorry, but your words display a lack of wisdom. Are you kidding me? What about that trick he pulled right before we came in here? He knew very well you were fighting the enemy, but instead of rushing to help you, he dallied as long as he could, dropping everything to save people from the fire, even though the guards were handling things just fine. He was obviously hoping to show up too late and find you already dead. Ah, uh, so, really? so Our killing teacher. him. You're seriously trying to blame someone for saving people from a fire? Can I get my murder on now? May Shellen spare me from ever having to make such a choice, but he behaved decently as a true leader. A true leader is someone who has their priorities straight, not someone who would put a valuable I kill her too? life in danger for the sake of some Murder planet. everybody here. Enough squabbling. I'm still not sure which of you I can trust. However, the risk of entrusting the whole affair to a spy is too great. Here's what we'll do. Two teams will head out. That way, I'll know at least one group can be counted on to serve my interests in the stolen lands. Thank God I don't have to be with the fucking gnome. Lady Aldori, most of those who were to set off for the stolen lands have been killed. Those who yet live will require help. Please allow me to join the expedition. I'm taking the halfling, the barbarian, and her. Fuck the other dudes. Maybe the dwarf. I'm sad to lose such a talented warrior. But you're right, Valerie. They have greater need of you right now. I already hate people Go. in this game. And That's good Ivar writing. Keep you. Which of the two teams would you prefer to accompany? If my leader allows, Yay. I can join his team. He seems a worthy commander in my eyes. Commanders, military leaders. All these laws and rules are but dust and vanity. I'm gonna choose. I suppose I will accompany Tortuccio. Our leader is good in battle, but I don't like all the spiritual agonizing. I'm so gonna I kill them all. Those who can act without wasting time oh. helping every little. Person. Well, obviously you're going to eventually. Those like Tortuccio. <clears throat> obviously you're gonna end up fighting these guys anyways. It'll probably be like some mid-game or late-game rivalry clash thing. Like a smite take the credit for so and many be people. Done with it. Shellen, spare me from such allies. I'm going with you. You're a hero worthy of my quill. I don't even need to think. I'm coming with this man. As for you, Purple Toad, just wait until we meet along the way. I'll be sure to hang your rotten spy guts from the tree. I am with her on that. All right. We Thing got a little bit chaotic, a little bit. And and it's no longer evil. On the road, you'll each take it's a obviously route a bad to the stolen lands. Tartuccio's team will go through Navactus Crossing. The garrison commandant will provide him all the help he needs. You will take your team to Oleg Leviton's trading post. He's been complaining about the Stag Lord's bandits for a while now. There, you'll be provided with all the necessary travel supplies. Yep, it's supplies, fashions for signs, sign scroll. I'd like to believe you, but I know all too well how convincing traitors and spies can be. If you're truly innocent, I hope you can forgive Paladin. me for Paladin. While you're away, Kestel I literally have to not events, be evil. And learn who in Restog is working for Patox. But you should know that it isn't just Patox we need to worry about. 
The royal house of Sertova may also interfere in our plans. I've managed to keep this affair a secret from them so far, but that can't last long. By my estimations, you have no more than three months. After that, any feats you accomplish will be pointless. Oh, god damn it, there's a time limit. That's gonna suck. I really wish there was one dialogue option and all that for just Paladin. And now, farewell. You kidding me? This battle was but the first ordeal along your path, and you overcame it as true champions of Restoff. May the obstacles that follow also fall to your feet. Fear nothing, my friends, and return victorious. Yay! I like it so far. That was that was a good tutorial. And it made me legitimately hate several characters. Good story writing. I already said that. Screw you. Surviving a terrible night, our small team set off to brave our fate. Beware, stolen lands. Heroes are on the way. Yay. That move it. There's a map of stolen lands. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit out. One of you can deserve to be by. Spend the way about this specific location by talking to the characters and happening upon them on your journey. Talking about location, you must find the way there yourself. Along the way, random encounters await. You may be attacked by monsters, or you may meet new acquaintances. Drags in the location of a random encounter. You will not be able to return there. So one of the big things this episode is unbalanced with the random encounters. I'm okay with that. Because in like a legitimate game. Well, I, not like legitimate, but realistic. You wouldn't just find things that are perfectly balanced for your level. You could be level 3 and, oh shit, there's a wyvern on the road now. Run! You're gonna run. Okay! Oh, wait. Alright. That's cool. Get ready! It's a bear! Holding unknown binding enables tactical time flow. Slow get out of time flow. Yeah, yeah. Mouse four. That's what it is now. Their life ends here. What's this? Doggies! Oh, look at the doggies! So cute. You already raging? Yeah, the tooltips are a little broken. There we go. Plus two us battles. Negative two. Two plus nineteen. You can set bonus HP. Okay, uh, they're just dogs. I'm sure we'll be fine. I do need to edit this. Have it be like that. All right, I really gotta feed my cat. Uh. Who is staring at a nothing on the wall? Are you okay? I'm gonna take a short break. I'll be right back. This button.
There we go. Now she should stop attacking my legs. Uh, da, 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 da. Sec. Here we go. Back to it. Dog is one. <laughs> you got. I want to uh, see if she has and do. She has flare. Uh, I want. I need something with AOE spells because we don't have the fucking <laughs> the gnome anymore. Good riddance, but you know. There's some good spells there. Burning Hands is very useful. I think Bards can learn Burning Hands, though, so when she levels up... High time to set up a camp and rest. All characters will restore some of their lost hit points. Table of casting spells will replenish them to camp. A special resource, rations. Okay. Put the manage that. You press R, click a rest button, outline of the camp will appear at your mass cursor. A green outline allows you to click and set up a camp there. Red one means that something is blocking it. So I just... Have that button and then can do it wherever I want. So that's nice. You have to have a space enough to set up the camp. Once everyone is gathered around the bonfire, press the manage button. Get rid of face. Neat. Does require additional rations. What is the chance of an enemy attack? Same with that night watches do. For a successful dish, they'll grant positive effects. Missing 16 hours of specific character or an entire party. Is that after resting or before? Because it'd be eight hours if it applies before the rest. Every party member has their own special ability. You can assign more than one job to a party member. Careful. That would prevent them from having a proper rest. Resting, you may be attacked by enemies. After dealing with them, click on the fire again to continue resting. I like how they're all just sitting there and then there's a dog. The better avoid camping in dungeons and dungeons you won't be able to hunt, cook, or use certain unique abilities. Moreover, there's a higher chance of enemy attacks. Neat! Do we need to? The barbarian's exhaustion should be temporary after rag raging. Yeah, 13 seconds. Did I just say rag instead of rage? Sweet. And skin the dogs. Explore this area for like loot and shit now. There's the exit. It's probably just. Hell no, you you assume it would just be a simple uh, small area just for the encounter, but that would be a good place to hide some secrets, wouldn't it? Like a giant rabbit! That thing is huge! Can I have it as a pet? I want one. Massive say there's nothing here then. Wait. <laughs> it's a little token. I learned how to shuffle a deck of cards, finally. It only took me a week. Oleg's Trading Post. I'm guessing there's an inn here, which would probably be better than camping. Characters and enemies join the battle in order to determine... In the mantle, in the order to determine their initiative levels. Yep. Party suffers from medium encumbrance. I have to sell shit too. In due time. Which well, should be good here at the trading post. 
Save yourself, fools. What's happening? An orc! The name of the stag lord. Why is this me? I guess usually my character is the one speaking over there. A little deceiving. Name of the stag lord. Haha, <laughs> lawful authority in the stolen lands. I demand this week's tax and some beer. Where's that pretty wife of yours? She should serve us some dinner. Calm down, Dinwit. Oleg, we're just here for the stag lord's tax. Hammer on the money and we'll be on our way. Alignment dialogue requires evil. Got that. Characters with certain alignments. You want to drink some of my blood too? I'm sick of you. You're like locusts. You think you control everything around here just because you put up that painted rag of yours? You come here and squeeze us dry and come good. Oleg's large man with face stops on your nose. So you must be the guest from Restaurant. What's going on here? I'm not interested in bloodshed. I won't let you rob this man. Be on your way. I'll let you go in peace. My task is to clear this land of bandits. I'll start right now. That's pretty goddamn paladin-y. Let's go! Retreat, we're two of you here. Let's call for the pit from the camp. No way, this means we can rob a few idiots instead of just one. Two arms, everyone! Their life ends here. How does he get to prepare? That's not fair. Uh, you have pure light wounds, right? Give that. And us shieldy people. Let us strike as one. Gonna get all up in their face. <laughs> Maybe not the face, because his face is somewhere over here. <gasps> A dog! Yes. Look at that cutie. He's got potato gra polygons. Potato graphics. That dog there was... Ah, uh, short sword. Shit, I'm just gonna sell everything to the leg here. Hungry. When Hopefully. We stop. Hello! Like that, you scoundrels! Oleg shakes his fist, but now he scratches his head and stares at the ground gloomy. The girl got away. Plague on her, which is a certain complaint of the stag lord. They came before to collect taxes. Now they'll come to punish treason. Now what are we to do? He sighs heavily. If only I could send Svetlana somewhere safe. For those rats, what's what? As the fair one approach, Dove, why are you here? So just stay hidden. It's all over, I saw it. You need to be sure you're all right. The woman looks her husband tenderly. With a hint of sorrow, humble. The look mumbles something and he looks embarrassed. My name is Svetlana, I'm sorry you arrived at our trading post. has turned out to be so unwelcoming. Wait for attack? Oh, yeah. I mean. The bats are going to who and where they arrive. Well, wave his hands sullenly. Who are they? The Stag Lord's gang. That's who. These lands team with bandits and bed bugs. I like bed bugs in a beggar's hut. And you just stirred them up. They have camp not far from here. I suspect they'll return in full force in half a day, maybe less. The Stag Lord won't take an insult like this lightly. His henchmen are more like demons than men. Have nothing to fear? I will help you with the attack! Appreciate your good attention. It may not be the best manners, but Oleg is... Levitin is the last name you'll hear. Accused of being ungrateful. If you manage to defend this post, I'll award you pop. We have to hide Svetlana. Please don't argue, Dove. We also need to decide on a plan. Go ahead and look around. There may be some tools that can be used in the battle. There are some pretty solid traps around. Some tar and a box of alchemist fire. Ah! The oil and fire. Put it by the gate, light it off with a burning arrow, and then the bandits are nearby. Yes. Like I said, the post on fire, Oleg shouts in surprise. Well, if we covered the walls with something to protect them, all right. I think it could work. I'll even shoot the arrow myself. I used to be a pretty good bow back in my day. I think of the best way to use the tar traps. As soon as they finish, let us know. Delay the post, the bandits can return any time. Better buy my stuff. Don't know what good trade it will serve if those bloodsuckers can... We can take everything, but alright, let's have a look. Let's be Jeebus. Uh, ever burning torches, nice. We'll keep those. Because. I'm guessing I need to keep the butter and shit. For cooking. Edible moss. 
We need to keep the cookbook? Can't use it or anything, so it's probably just a book book. Damn it! I gave the braces of armor to the gnome! He's gone now. Supplies rations. How much money is that? Not that much. Um, ooh, plus one mace. Masterwork stuff is pretty nice. I want a hammer, though. Earthbreaker. Be a giant two handed hammer. You got a masterwork warhammer? Nice light hammer, long spear. Warhammer. 1d8, 20 times 3. Battle axe is the same. I always liked hammer dwarves. A lot of people go for axes. I like the hammers. I guess I actually don't need that because I have the long sword, but we'll... The dwarf need... Fine. I'll save the money. Small bag of holding. That's what to put this bag. This party allows the party to carry an additional 100 pounds. That's great. Lesser ring of protection. Oh, Jesus. Reach meta magic rod. Make the three spells that cast per day reach. Cool. Yeah, reach just like I think doubles, triples, or some fuck tuples. Look at that full plate. It's even got a surcoat. Nice. Makes it a lot, lots of distance, lots of distance this. I'm gonna get the, the, the axe. The hammer. I'm a dwarf! I gotta have it! It's mandatory. There we go. Look at that. Tiny. What do we need? Ginormous sword. Good God. That is a ginormous sword. Belt lantern. Soft light. Kind of nice. Potion of shield of faith. We'll give you some potions as well. Uh, bark skin. I want her to have. She obviously doesn't have a shield, so that'll be good for her. See if we can't make three potions standard. What's this? Enlarge person, that's nice. Cure moderate. I'm not sure we need cure moderate, do we? 2d8. Yeah. We do. We have cure stuff. Scroll. And I can level up now. We should move. I see your goods. Sell, sell, sell. Roll of Raid's dead. What does it mean, signed? Is that just it's a special fancy one? Back to dead is an ordeal. So this spell gains two permanent negative levels. What? Hit points equals current hit dice. What if it is an ordeal? Two per yeah, two permanent negative levels. It says it's been energy drain, so I can remove it then. Not gain. 
Number of negative LLs equal to or greater than its total hit dice this way. Creatures permanent negative. So that's basically saying they're weaker when they come back. And you... It stacks, essentially. So if you raise them again, they'd be four. God, negative levels really fucking suck. It'd be nice if it was just, like, exhaustion or fatigue. Negative levels are... It, it affects their spells they can cast, their hit points, I think. And a bunch of other stuff. Like, basically, as if they were two levels lower. That's bad. So in other words, I can't use Raise Dead until my people are at least level 3. At all. We're going to be reloading a lot, probably. That's a pretty big drawback. Hopefully it can be removed. It does say permanent. But I'm guessing it means permanent in that it doesn't just time out. Well, class are you? Tower Shield Specialist. I guess that's a fighter. Yeah, that sucks. I'm, but I hope it's removed by resting. I am never wrong. That would be super boners if not. I'd have to find like. Remove curse? No, not remove curse, but uh, what would it be? It would be um, God, what removes negative levels? Restoration spells. Divine grace. Yeah, that divine grace is really nice. I get land hands. Second level paladin can heal their wounds. So they're touching them. Half the paladin level plus the charisma modifier. Uh. Means it's going to 1d6 points for damage for two paladin levels of possessed. So it'll be 1d6. And I can use it three times a day. That's nice. A little bit. The thing is, it will uh, it'll bring people off a of death's door, which is good. This ability is a standard action unless the paladin targets yourself, which case you can use as a swift action. Ooh! And an easy heal in fights. I'm going to use this healing power to deal damage to undead creatures. Yeah, it's just because healing does damage to undead creatures. 26 points of damage for every two levels the paladin possesses. Using land hands will require assist. What would happen? I, I, I just thought of this now. What would happen if in the tutorial you got the gnome killed? Just straight up dead. Maybe in the tutorial it brings them back. As like uh, some padding. I think it's like one mercy. Mercy has additional effect of paladin's lay on hands, divine health, immune to all diseases. Okay, supernatural and magical, including mummy rot. Good. Mummy rot sucks. Bo knows firsthand how much mummy rot sucks. He almost got killed from it in like the fourth or third session. Two points. Why well, take persuasion? It's a good, good thing to have. Um, I think I want to do. Sure. Or maybe Arcana. No, the the Bard can learn Arcana. The Bard probably has a lot of. I want to take one. <laughs> that's not gonna help. Negative thirteen. Neg <laughs> oh, uh, that's the heavy armor and a tower shield right there. <laughs> Nothing is helping that. Nothing. Do I get spells? No. Lemurite right is good. You love that? No, no, it's not. It's it's terrible. It's horrible. It's evil. Uh, I want to keep her as a bard. Make her into a little inquisitor. Bard proficiencies, cantrips. 
First level of Margaret is a performance to inspire courage and allies, including himself. Yeah, here we go. All knowledge and lore skill checks. So bards are what you want to have knowledge in. Check magic. If a school of magic with a spell belongs to, use in dialogues. Second level, the bard becomes more resistant to the bardic formation performances of others and sonic effects in general. Plus five bonus on saving throws made against bardic performances, sonic and language dependent effects. That's good for resisting enchantments. Well. Archaic experience. She learns from number of tales. They aided a confounder foes. The second level bard gains a rogue talent. As the rogue's clet that's each of the same name. Rogue talents are good. JD performance. Should be something I can take in the abilities, right? Yeah, see, she already has Arcana. Proficient in everything. Um. Definitely want UMD. Maybe persuasion. I have persuasion, but I don't also obviously I don't have the charisma of a bard. I don't know if having multiple characters with it will help. Maybe. Fuck it. Good. Here we go. Weapon focus, plus four to perception. That's really good. Don't have perception, although it is a class skill. We only have ten wisdom, though. Uh, we do need someone with perception. I don't think the fighter gets perception, or definitely the barbarian might. Let me go check that. I'm listening. Do you have it? Let me see their skills. Yeah, she has perception. Okay. I wrote it like I saw it. Go bard two. <laughs> like how the only <laughs> the only skill that bards need or ability is charisma. Uh, UMD definitely. Dirt, dirt. Let's give her. Trickery. So it was a character's ability to perform attacks that require delicate manipulation. So pick locks and shit. We want to get that up as well. Does that not do with charisma or uh, dexterity? Yeah, dexterity plus the encumbrance. Really interesting. Okay. Put one in stealth at least, just because if you put one in a prof in a class proficient skill, you get an immediate like plus three or plus four. Yeah, you get a plus three bonus on all skills they put a rank into. So it's really good in Pathfinder. It's not really really good, but it's worth considering putting a single point into some skills <laughs> just to get the class bonus on it because it's a free three. So it's like putting four points into one. It's good. A bonus combat feat is super fucking worth it. I think that's only going to be taken once, though. See, then you get access to all of these. <laughs> Weapon finesse would be good, but she's ranged. Point blank shot would be nice. It's allied spellcaster. They have an ally, you're skilled at piercing the protection of other creatures with your spells. Whenever you're adjacent to an ally, who also has, also has, oh, cool, there's teamwork feats in this game. There we go, arcane armor training. You've learned to cast spells while wearing armor. Reduce the arcane speller by 10% for any spell you cast. There's no limit? Before that, had a limit of 5%. So reduce it by 10% no matter what you're wearing, and then... But only to a minimum of five or ten. That's really good. I remember taking straight out, because then I could equip um, chain shirts and still have ten percent. 
Or 0% on leather. And sometimes spells can straight up, like, save the co the battle. And if that fails, obviously, it's a bad thing. It's for a bad thing. Get that one. Maybe they remove the, uh, the minimum. Dodge is also really good, but I can get that later. Definitely want Arcane Armor training. And here's your spells. Do you have... Burning hands at all. Yeah, it's like I gotta send a text. <laughs> hey, there's something about uh, the apartment I'm applying for. Turns out we're. We're good! Uh, flare Burst! All creatures with a 10-foot radius. Yeah, functions as Flare. Flare gives them a negative one to... Dazzled. And Dazzled is just a... Minus one to... Fucking attack bonus, I think. That's just hideous laughter. I want a uh, an area of effect damaging spell. Cause those are good. Your piercing scream is a single target. Rounds. Days. Sleep would be nice. Sleep is a really good spell. It can hit your allies, though. Ah, oh, so much I want to do. I love this game. I love Pathfinder more than I love 5th edition D&D. And even 3rd edition, because Pathfinder is just 3rd edition, but better. And 5th edition D&D dropped a lot of the stuff I loved about 3rd edition. I don't know what spell I want. Sleep is really good at early levels. And I can't unlearn a spell. Dang it. I was hoping for an offensive one. Oh, well, um. Am I just do hideous laughter? It's considered, oh, not considered helpless. That makes things lose their turn. Which is really good. Hypnotism. Very blankly, at you in a dazed condition, TD4. That's multiple rounds. Fuck it, do hideous laughter. We're taking too long. This is not for me. I'm retraining. Should reduce her. Let's see. Yeah, spell failure doesn't show up on here. This is definitely gonna work, right? I'm hungry. When we stop. Maybe it shows on her. Still says 10. That doesn't show there. Uh, I guess I just have to trust that it's going to fucking work. Because they don't see arcane spell failure anywhere on here. You know. Unless it's in here. Oh well. What are you? You're always right, a fighter. 
Power shield specialist. We can make her a paladin. Wait, no, that's blotted out. I always think that the darker ones are the ones I can't take, and the lighter ones are the ones I can. It's wrong. Okay. Uh, power shield specialist. Like my tooltips back, please. Fine, whatever. You. <laughs> Why even? Oh, God, you have nothing I want for skills. I guess lore. I could make her into a cleric. Spider Cleric's not bad. I don't really need a Tower Shield Specialist, because that's just being a tank. And I got that handled. Turn yourself from Burst of Spells and Effects. Get a plus one bonus and Reflex saves against them while employing a Tower Shield. Bonus Combat Feat would have been the second level. Exotic weapon proficiency? I may take two fighter and then start poking into cleric. No, you already got your... No. She's a human, so she would have got a bonus feat. But yeah, the fighter, first level fighter feat. So it would be level one feat, human feat, one of those two, and then that's her bonus feat. So we're good. I'm going to make her into a cleric. Because clerics be good. Selection, W domain selection, another domain. Power shield cleric, yeah. No spell failure on divine. Energy, same shit. Asmodeus. Wait, she can worship Asmodeus? No, oh, go back. No, I don't want that, Danny. Oh, god damn it. Can't undo that. And I can't read. There we go. Um, book. The Light Sword, the Lady of Valor. Amade seems like a good fit for her. She's lawful neutral, right? And a defender protector kind of sort. Can't do Caden. Caden is the best god in any any fantasy setting. I love Caden. He's a guy who went into the test of the Star Stone, which is this one thing to where it's it's so super hard to do, but if you do it, you touch the Star Stone, and become a god. He went into it on a drunken dare and just came out of God. So he's the freedom and booze God. And I love that. What do these give me? Can't tell because my tooltips are broken. This works though. Uh, Law Domain gives me what? You should give me spells too, right? <laughs> Touch a law and order, so you achieve enlightenment. Touch a law, you can touch a willing creature. Stand in action, if you can get the power of divine order, allowing it to treat all attack rolls, skill checks, and ability checks. They throw us for one round as if the natural d20 result was an 11, so it's better than take 10. It's pretty good. This ability number of times you go to 3 plus your wisdom modifier. What's her wisdom modifier? You might not have any wisdom. We should gather our strength. She does not have any wisdom. 
He has 15 charisma, though. Dang it! All right, we're not making do a cleric. Um. If she was anything but a tower shield specialist fighter, I'd make her into a Megas. But Megas need their offhand free. Yeah, I just I guess I gotta stick with fighter now. Dang it! Oh well. It'll be fine. Stick with her base stuff. Is two points? I don't know. I share religion. Knowledge of world, fine, whatever. It's good, it's fine, we're fine, we're good. Oh boy. Weapon focus, what do we want to give her? <laughs> Dang it. I have two tanks. And I did take tower shield proficiency for my dude, so I don't want to waste a feat by not using one. Running shield or adjacent ally who's also winning a shield and has this feat. I don't have that feat. Basic bonus from your shield increases. That'd be really nice. Later. Could check that now. Although they'll get, they'll both get the same uh, level up feet on the same time, and I'll take it then. Web of books is good in general, especially if they're hmm. just strength bonus. Plus. Fuck, we'll just give her a longsword. Longswords are good for knightly characters. She does have exotic proficiency, though, so no. Yeah, um. Dang it! Is there. Question. What was it called? Uh. That's because it's a light weapon, so I wouldn't matter. Barvin Warax. I think bastard swords are gonna be one handed. What does she come with? Sorry this is taking so long. I gotta deliberate. She comes with a bastard sword. Okay, that's what we're doing then. Focus. Bastard sword. No. There, fine, we did it. What's this do? Treat affliction? That's why she has religion. I think the barbarian probably had it. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it! We're good! What did Burst Barry do again? Tower Shield Specialist can use a shit. Just screen itself from burst spells. Plus a reflex save while pulling a Tower Shield. Plus over every four levels after the second. Alright! We should gather our strength. And then you're just Barbarian. Lots of Barbarian. Uncanny Dodge. Uncanny Dodge is good. Three senses in, five foot in. Not be caught flat foot and doesn't lose her dexterity bonus. Attack is invisible. Does lose it if immobilized. Good stuff. And then rage powers. Yay. You don't even have that much dexterity for a barbarian. That AC is 
some terrible AC. Perception. Perfect. Everything I wanted. Beast totem. Sweet. You can be a totem. Fucking, uh... Totem barbarians are cool. So in Pathfinder, um, it allows you to... Pathfinder has a lot of customization shit for classes, so you can be... Yeah. Hang on. Pathfinder allows you to... Not necessarily through... It's kind of a role-playing ability. Like, you can make a barbarian that doesn't rage through anger. You can rage through, like, the channeling of spirits and shit. Which is, like, totems and stuff. I have a barbarian in Pathfinder that I just made as a concept. I don't actually have many games to play it in. That, uh... I make characters for fun. Mmm, that's how much I love this game. Uh, it... She doesn't rage through anger. That, um... God damn it, through... The background traits... And some feet stuff, you can rage, if you just explain it that way, through, like, channeling ancestor spirits and cool shit like that. And that's my barbarian. Don't get mad. They just go, spirits be my aid, and then fuck shit up. Ah, uh, gains a bite attack. If you use this as part of a full attack, sweet. Bite attack is made of the barbarian's full base attack bonus, negative five. 1d4 points of medium... That's half the thing. There's a bar gets two claw attacks. But I'm wielding a weapon then. So no. I got a more defensive posture, getting plus one dodge in your armor class during the during your rage. Was increased by one for every four levels. Stance rage is power. Where we can have more than one stance rage power at the same time. Victory is a stance rage power while another one is active or stance immediately ends. I think I'm going to take that one because she has a bit low AC. And fit bonus speed. Plus one attack all is negative AC. I don't want her to die. I'm taking guarded stance. Buy that twice? Yeah. Weird. Okay. Just want to make sure she didn't automatically get it. For some reason? Large Bastard Sword. Interesting. Plus one oversized bastard sword. That's a thing I can get? Okay. There, we can finally get back to the game. It only took us a half an hour to level up, people. We're good. I'll just be our normal save. Okay, I need to rest. Can I rest at this guy's house before the bandits? I don't think so. And if I rest, rest, eh, they might attack anyways. You said there was oil barrels, or tar barrel rather. Is this it? Help slow the bandits. Yeah. It's just bash. So there's probably some hidden stuff that'll help. We release the horses. Throw chickens at them. Throw potatoes at them. Potatoes hurt. They're very solid. You could do some damage with a potato. I'm off. I should know I'm I'm Irish. Hello, who are you? Have a name. Proud disheveled old man wearing a stained and tattered robe gives you a gloomy look. I'm Boken, local Horbosh, what brings you here? 
Could use help fighting the bandits. Where's this coming from? You want an old man like me to fight? Here, take this potion. Consider it my help for the fight. All right, thank you. Can I pet the dog. I'm there. Disappointed. Nine out of ten. Game needs dog petting. Every every game, no matter what, needs dog petting. Zombie apocalypse. Pet the dog. Demons from hell invading, pet demon dogs. Hello. This is mine now. Totally not theft. Better than clean. Even has a new roof. How nice. Doesn't seem like there's much for me to do. Hey. There we go. Bunch of traps. I don't see the tar, but it's probably somewhere. Follow if you dare. Fuck it, let's do it. Resting would be nice, don't you think? No, we got to do this now. Fear not, I'll stab between you and this scum. You're under my protection. What game is just like this? Uh, Divinity Original Sin is a really good for top-down isometric RPGs. Really, really good. Like, 10 out of fucking 10. Amazing. Awesome. Good. Be careful to go do anything too risky. Svetlana, go inside. We're here to meet. We're going to greet our guests. This is the part where I die, isn't it? And lose. Aha, a test of my abilities. Yes. Murder. All right, you shoot stuff. Do you have any spells? Not from that range. Come over with the dude. Spell there, too. <laughs> they're just they're just dying. You have a spell? Come on. Do it. No, Oleg! Serves you right. We may Come on. Okay. Go kill the archers. I hope Oleg's not dead dead. I wanted to save him. That was the whole the, the whole reason. They go down. Go get him. Mess him up. I may have fucked up. Yeah, fucked up. Yeah, Oleg lives. He was just faking it. Ooh, hello. What are you? Magic cloak. Give me. We did it. You're not hurt, I hope. Oh, what just happened to my weight? Oh, tons of leather. Look, resistance plus one. I get an air slow to those. I'm gonna give it to her. Because you're gonna be up close and personal. Ooh. Slippery. You have for armor. Light armor. Light armor is a little better than leather. Gutted leather. Pause it long though. What does composite do? Hide your strength, the damage. Yeah, that works for me. I think everybody needs a ranged weapon just in case. You never know when we might use it. That is mine. You cannot have it. Just want to move it through the set. Heads off my sword. <laughs> Hopefully that upgrades. I'm there. That's great. Lug is breathing heavily. He shakes his fist in the air menacingly. You rats got what's coming to you deserved. 
I'll know better than to treat honest people like cattle. She called Bokken out before he freezes in those bushes. Now, my lord, head up onto the guest room on the second floor. You deserve some rest over the battle. I need to go clean things up. This is for your efforts. Don't, don't offend me. You're trying to turn it down. Just take it. Honest fight deserves to an honest reward. If there were more common practice in this world, I think life would be much better. Yay. Can I sell you stuff, all like, real quick? Damn it. All right, we'll go hobble up to the inn. Hello. You like a room? Sweet stuff to rob. Damn it. Do it. Go to sleep. Random bookshelf. After travelers, hunters, and explorers of the river kingdoms, monsters, and beasts. Werewolves! Sweet. Taking this. Think of from a nasty dream that tortured you almost all night long. Then you saw the walls of unnaturally thick fog surround you, slowly moving closer and closer. Quick look out of the window, and you found out the fog was not a figment of your imagination, not a dream, and then... Hear me. Please. Oh no, fairies. Can you hear me? Please. That fairy of death buried outlet of a beautiful nymph appears before you. Even its ghostly form, it's clear she's exhausted. Her shoulders slouch, large blue eyes burn in her pale face. Which is barely more than a whisper as she reaches forward to you. Do we start perving immediately? Yes, we do. Beauty is so tender. It can so easily be crushed under the blows of cruel fate. It's very planty. But you can save it from being I'd undone. hit it. Who are you? Who am I? Just a tear shed by the land itself. I can't talk faster. The bitter mm. sigh of nature. I am a nymph, the guardian of this area. A defeated guardian. Are we all ghostly? Call me the guardian of the bloom, if you wish. Gotcha, what do you want? Aid, salvation. We have a common enemy, and long have I searched for someone who can defeat him. The one you call the Stag Lord. As a storm strikes ruthlessly with gusts and lightning, the Stag Lord wreaks havoc with the swords of his servants. And not just in the world of people. The land also suffers from the evil he brings. My forests and my flowers suffocate in this fog. Soon, even I will vanish, as the last ray of light fades at dusk. Yes, it hides his fortress as well as his dark deeds. He's not no normal While bandit, responsible, is he? he did not create this affliction. It is the work of a powerful druid who has betrayed even himself. I know not why the powers did not leave this renegade. But even I was unable to defeat him. How can I help you? This fog Murder people. In Definitely. If only Murder I is the answer. How it was created. But my powers wane. I have barely the strength to call out to you. All I know for certain is that somewhere in this forest <laughs> lies an old house. And it echoes with the remnants of a strange power. The Stag Lord and his druid were there. The fog hides this place from me, but I can point you to the bandits' camp near the Thornford. Make them tell you where this place is. Go there and listen to the echo. Catch the whispers. Search for anything that can tell you how the fog was created. Once the fog clears, Nature will breathe again, and you will be able to easily find your way to the fortress of our mutual enemy. All right, goodbye. I don't believe in fate, stranger. 
But our meeting seems more than a coincidence. <laughs> the Empire Spirits fails and she disappears. Finally, and goes to talk to people who speak faster. There are no offense to this location, it's a sort of headquarters where you can prepare your party for new expeditions. In such locations, companions don't follow you around and will go about their own business. You can speak with them freely to get to know them better. Once you exit the location and return to the global map, you'll be able to choose the companions you wish to take with you, leaving the others there. So I will get more. <laughs> if you meet a new companion that you don't want, including the main party right away, the companion will travel to this location. Sweet! I don't need that immediately. But God damn, that's a nice AC. Let me go and rob everything. Ooh. Maybe enfeeblement. It's my headquarters now, right? Kitty. Cats are so short lengthwise in this game. Half a girl with tousled hair, wearing a dusty traveler's outfit, she's chewing the tip of her quill. Moment, how should I put this? Oh, I knew. She was something quickly in her notebook and scrawl the verses. Oh, verses? Razor, I'll give you a bright smile. Oh, hi! Come from Pitax, right? Tell me about it. Oh, I love Pitax, even though they kicked me out. A joyful place. You sure? It sounded pretty evil to me. This has always been one huge nest of thieves. Bandits, river pirates, smugglers, fences, card shards have always been home for the likes of me. It was before Iroveti became king. With him, a whole different life began there. Iroveti always wanted to make history, but not as another bandit with the crown. Although that's exactly what he is. Ha ha! He wanted to be glorified throughout the centuries as a great patron of the arts, so he built the Academy of Grand Arts and spent lots of gold to some of the best artists, poets, and magicians. Of course, the very best ones refused to go, but he got what he wanted in a way. If Pitax was once a was once just a boozled Booze barn for thieves, now it's a cabaret for thieves. What is crowned in a game of cards, which is to say as much as about Pitex as it is about him. He's fiendishly clever. Some cheats I know told me that from the moment he appeared, he started pulling off such schemes <laughs> that old city masters just scratched their heads. Them in charge, gold flooded into Pitex. Also, he's incredibly, unimaginably, fantastically decadent and conceited. Getting drunk with horns in the pub, and it's not Lord Irovetti's style. Oh no, he aims higher. Dressing up like a male Calistra. Wait. Calistria. With a golden codpiece. No longer three week orgy. With dancing on the rooftops, parades, public executions, <laughs> and contests for the best ode and the great uh, unrivaled king. That's sort of like it. Yeah! No comment. He also likes singing Ugh and he urges guards to make the citizens gather for his shows. He shall have mercy on his listeners. Where the academy you studied at? You know, jokes aside, I'm thankful for Irovetti for that building, but he has no taste at all whoever, whatsoever. He likes his art loud, bright, and grandy. Ah! Thank you! How do you pronounce that? Dartrol? Thank you for the sub, man. I really appreciate it, even though it startled me. Uh, da, 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 reading! Grandioi, but most importantly, glorifying his royal highness. He kicked out the best charcoal artist. Charcoal artist? Because he didn't wish to spend money on gray scribbles. He's like the masterful flute player from Tanzania. That's the eastern continent. Or, well, I'm not sure it's actually eastern, but it's the Asian place. You know, every big fantasy world needs a token Asian continent. And instead of order to open a kettle drum class? <laughs> What the fuck? Fiona of the Academy to expel me, and for what? An innocent limerick. Kettle drums. In fantasy. Alright, uh, shit, I'm with it. So I'd like to the Academy to finish your studies. I'd like to return, but on one condition, they threw out three quarters of the professors who teach there now. I returned all the ones... Huh? If they threw out three of the quarters. Okay, I missed the if. They threw out three quarters and banished. Return all the ones they banished. If you ask me, I'm proud to have been expelled. My heart was to ear of it is. If my heart was to ear of it is liking, I would have been. A reason to be ashamed. 
As long as mediocre lick spittle sit at the academy and those with real talent beg on the streets of Pitax, I won't cross the threshold of that place. All right, bye. Oh God, there's more. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Oh God. You worship Shillian, yes. Not to offend the other gods, but she is the most important one of all. All the gods, the guard of the world. All the other guards guard the world as it is, but only the eternal rose, the goddess of beauty, calls us to the world as it should be. So Shellen is the patron god of, like, the arts and beauty and all that kind of stuff, without being, you know, in a more innocent manner than D&D's, like, Shar. No, not Shar. Um, god, not Shar. Shar is fucking evil. Uh, god, what is it? Not Shares. Sunni, that's it. Less debauchery than Sunni. I did become a bard. When I realized there was nothing for me at home besides Radish Patch, I decided to run away. A traveling book petter, Tessie the Quill, happened upon our village. Well, I stuck to her like a burr and wouldn't let go until she agreed to take me on as an apprentice. Together we traveled everywhere, to Bravoy and Taldor and even Istalav. Then I found out the Academy of Grand Arcs and Pitax, and I thought, well, I love reading stories, so surely I can write them too. I rolled on my first try, and they even gave me a scholarship, then they expelled me. But that's okay. They already taught me all the important stuff, and now, with Shillian's help, yeah, it's me. Where are you from? They... <laughs> I'm from all over. I was actually born in Galt, a tiny village. Not even on the maps. If it weren't for my teacher, I'd still be living there. Milking goats, weeding turnips, willing homebrew, having babies, using books only as kindling. Ah, so barbaric. Why are you close so messy? Can't waste money on looks, I'd rather buy books instead. In a hundred years, when people are reading my books, they'll, they aren't they are going to ask whether the author had holes in her sleeves. He's a true saint. He was once an important person in the capital, the church of, at the church of Shalene. He got in trouble with the authorities and went in a self-imposed exile to the tiniest, most godforsaken, priestless village he could find, and the one I was born. He wanted to open a school, but the villagers wouldn't let him. You can heal us all you like, but no putting any ideas in our children's head will only distract them from their work. But he did teach me on the sly. He taught me how to read, how to write, and even gave me books, poems, legends. He was one and told me about the Arch Knights of, Is of Istan. These names mean nothing to me. I know Pathfinder in the same way I know d and I know the general details. I know the gods, the monsters, the magic, the mechanics. I don't know the geographics. I don't know places. Baldur's Gate is a it exists. I don't got details. But when I was going on a journey, he gave me a magic ring that said so that Shellen would protect me from harm. Did he now? God, so much dialogue. He does have a magic ring. I didn't notice that before. And ring prevents her from dying and teleports to a safe location if she falls on ladder. That's cool. Hey, the book you're writing. What does it tell you? You've seen some of the rough drafts already, haven't you? It's a book about you and your adventures. I'm writing the whole truth, just as it happens. The whole artistic truth, you know. No glory, no story. <laughs> artistic truth. Uh, command of the language is not that good. She's fine! Your book is full of inconsistency. She's fine! What kind of character am I? Truth be told, a little afraid. <laughs> I was a little afraid of meeting a real hero. In books, they're all protectors of the weak and poor. But what about in real life? You eased all my fears with two shakes of a tail. You're a true hero, just like the legends. And I fear. My new fear is that in a hundred years, my readers will say people like you never existed. But I'm writing the truth. You have an iron core, no matter what. Yeah, that's a good, good compliment for a dwarf. No matter what tricks fate throws in your past, you always know what's right and what's wrong. Some might say that's boring, but others will learn from you, from your strong character. Let's not insult the poor lass. Arch Knights, oh, you haven't heard of them. How can you be here without knowing one of the most epic stories in the history of stories? No, I won't spoil anything. You should just read about it yourself. Every single chapter of the adventures will give me the idea of going on a heroic quest to write about it to begin with. And now look at me. Here I am, on a heroic quest. Yay! See with that ring you always wearing your finger? She just told me this. It's a gift for me from my teacher. It's magical and be with the powers of Shaleen, no less. When I get myself in trouble, it transports me to a safe spot. So please don't be angry if I suddenly disappear from a fight. I'll wait for you here. I promise. At least she won't die. I guess she's kind of essential, right? Because she's everything. Technically... 
the journal is written. That's cool. I actually never read any of this yet. Uh, it's first div. And it's all like written like a book. Cool. I always like that for a, a journal to not be just go here and do this objective for it to be written like somebody was writing it. That's a really, really nice little spice. Can I already do this? Or does the exclamation point mean it's done? No? Yeah. These mean it's still at Oh, the question. Question mark. Checkpoint means it's done, right? Leave the hall, fall, Lindsay, help, yada, 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 speak with, yep. Cool. Cool, cool. I wish it would move it to an, oh, here we go. Yay! Nice. I gotta sell stuff. I am, good lord. Too much load. Eh. Buy my stuff. Where is Oleg? I need him to buy my stuff. Buy my stuff. Tell me your words. Okay. No, 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 no. Potion of Vanish. Ooh! Ooh! Wait. Yeah. Invisible for a short time. So it's like it's a, a round or a couple rounds of invisibility. He's real tiny. I have a lot of money. But. Full plate. 1500. I want to buy better. I don't. Yeah, I got it. I got enough. AC. I think I, I should invest in other things. Like a ring of protection if it wasn't 2,000. Would be really good. I don't think anybody but me can use that ring, right? Yeah. Dang. Oh, it's a plus one armor ring, so it, no, it does do stuff. Plus one to armor class. Do they not... Damn, the braces of armor might have been good then. Because if they uh, simplified all armor class into just a base thing, rather than armor, deflection, natural, luck. Yeah, there you go. Plus one deflection to AC. Maybe that one's just... There's also... Um... I can words. I guess miscellaneous armor class stuff. It just kind of has other, and it's fun and stacks just for random cool magical effects. Noriel, a Noriel 8. I always forget the This looks like an elf, though. Yeah, The elf looks straight at you with the tangled hairs falling over her face. You're an adventurer, right? Seeking your fortune in the stall lands. You're not the only one of your kind here. Take my advice. Keep your eyes open and watch your back. Sometimes the one who calls themselves your friends are more dangerous than your enemies. Judging by the elf's voice, she's obviously... She started the day with a jug of wine. I have to go. We don't consort with elves. Tell me, Fingy Fingy. What's there to say? The books were my urge to travel, but that's only thanks to Tessie that I really managed to get on my village. At first, Tessie tried to in vain to get rid of me, but later I told her I was staying in Pitax. She even shed a tear. I wonder where she is now. Probably not a proud tear. Probably a, oh god, you're going to die there, you poor innocent soul. No, I'm not going to tell her to leave. Don't leave without me. Yay. I don't want to kick her out. She's adorable and helpful. Oh, good lord. I think it's going to be a pile of rubble. Spill it. I'm listening. You don't like it? She shrugs all the time. Perhaps flushing her muscles or maybe filling in the silence. Dunno, she admits at last. Depends what we're going to talk about. If it's about monsters or swords or scars, I approve. That's good. I like monsters. It's a formidable soul. It's not just a simple weapon, is it? There's some loud horses. 
You bet it's not simple. Check out how big it is. Your Razor Blade proudly knows that even though Amiri, Amiri is extremely strong, she has difficulty wielding such a large sword. Sword belonged to a real blast frost giant. I killed the base and took it. Took this looker for myself. Fits me perfectly. A damn, my damn trophy. Amiri's eyes flash with a menace as she's, as she's challenging some invisible enemy to try taking her trophy away. All right, cool. I have it up. Simple question sees a puzzle in Miri. She scratches her head and starts counting on her fingers. First, I'm a barbarian. I'm strong. I grew up in the realm of the mammoth lords. <laughs> I left my tribe, the six bears. Miri looks thoughtful at her four bent fingers and shrugs. I like fights. She includes bending her thumb. Who is texting me now? Nobody. A new story on Star Wars. I don't fucking care, Google. Stop sending me news. I hate that. Google spams my phone with that shit, but I can't turn it off. What's it like to be a barbarian? Our people are big and strong. We can cut monsters in half with one swing. Yeah, something like that. We can walk three days and nights with no rest. And we can eat whole fried uh, aurochs? Pathfinder aurochs. Oh, they're like... Oh, they're yak things. Oh, they're adorable. They're like big hunky yaks. They're too cute. <laughs> so basically a cow. You guys gotta do a lot of training. Training? Haha, <laughs> no, no one freaking trained me. The boys of the six bears got the training. All I could do was watch. You know what? They were still crap even at their trading because I kicked their butts hard. Animals, bandits, monsters all thought they were stronger than me. Idiots, Amiri spits on the ground. Because if you start a fight and you think you can win, you think you're stronger than your enemy. Amiri's raises her chin proudly. I'll defeat them all. See all the scars on my face? One. Two. That's not many scars. How's the realm of the mammoth woods look like? Huge and freezing. No place for weaklings. The Mary her eyes. Bouting your ability to survive in her home. I'm a dwarf. I am built for this shit. <laughs> Tribes hunt aurochs and herds to survive. Aurochs are fast, so, terror, so the tribe follows herds for days. Just to not die of hunger if you are weak. You stay behind and die in the snow. The tribe cannot be stopped. There are also giants and mammoths. Sometimes demons come too. And the mastodons. The saber-toothed tigers. You would survive, I think, for a few days. Oh, come on. Because they were assholes, all of them. Men were cowards and scoundrels, and the women were like sh scared like sheep. And Mary rolls her bloodshot eyes in fury. Men think no girl can be a fighter because they're weak. They're afraid that a woman can beat them. The females just nod, go sow hides, cook meat, and wash the kids. That's why they always, that's what they always say. Oh, that's, that's supposed to be a quote. But I'm a warrior, damn it. I won't cook hides and watch meat. Amiri is already shouting, her fists clutched tightly. She's got a passion. I told them so. I went hunting with the men, so what did I get? Still the same. You are a woman. You stay home. They even gave me a nickname, the Soft Chieftain. Like a warrior woman, that was a funny joke. Damn, I even went on those hunt shit face. Wait. I went to hunt those shit face frost giants, and there. Amiri suddenly drops, really sweating, putting on her forehead. She has her hands awkwardly after a moment and forces herself to grin. So I left. Coward scoundrels, the sissies they were. That's why she seems remorseful about that. A good fighter. Quite good compared to who? If I was a crappy male, I'd fight better. Is that what you say? She glares at your eyes narrow. You say I could be better. Like, go get some training, Amiri. Right? Um. You're a good fighter. Don't trade your voice at me ever again. Is it really chaotic to just say I just meant to give you a compliment? Am I gonna get chaotic points for that? Fuck it. Eh. It's nice. I'm being nice. Eh. Oh no! Wow, what do all these mean? There's a lot of dots in there now. I'm not entirely lawful anymore. I'm one point towards chaotic. Oh no. Uh I'm shifted to neutral? Ah oh, fucking really.
is... You think lawful neutral would just shift you towards neutral because there's not really neutral actions. They're just good, lawful, chaotic, and evil actions. And then if you're in balance between them all, you're neutral. I'm really going to shift stuff that sits me towards the middle? You'd think those are just... We're fine. The Jackson Jimondi, lawful, neutral, good. Let me shift it towards lawful, neutral. Hey, lawful, good. Yeah. I just wanted to give her a compliment. I don't want to tell her to stop it. I'm always ready. Cause that's me. I need a wizard. Where can I find me a wizard? Are you a wizard? Book of Founders, he ostentatiously examines the nearest wall. His hands are asleep without turning into you. The old man finally says, Adelvice, you want some potions? Yes. I think I have enough healing. I have a lot of healing. Want a book? Take the book. Good lord, 50 apiece. Yeah, that's standard. Um, I probably want acid flasks. If I encounter trolls or swarming enemies, I'll need some AoE and I don't got a mage. Six points of acid damage and then five feet over the acid hits, so it'd be a three by three area. Wait. Oh, a direct hit. And the others take one point. Then direct hit deals 1d6. Takes one point of fire damage. And then I'm following the direct hit of the target. It's an additional 1d6. It's something. Oh, not that many. I'll buy five and five each. Because those are generally good to have. Large potions are good. A wand would be really good. How many uses does this have? 50 mage armors. Can I afford that? Just barely not. I could sell some food, remove blindness, banish. I probably want to keep on the squishy. Those don't sell for much. Yeah, like two gold. I have a feeling that the bard can use. Ray's dead, we want to keep. <laughs> it's worth zero anyways. Butter's worth 15. When you six cold damage per caster level. Cast level on the wand is one. I really, really want the wand of mage armor. It's a good freaking wand! Depending on how long it lasts. One hour level, so you pop it on all your dudes once. And go ham. It's good stuff. And we got a bard that can use it. I'm pretty sure since she's an arcane caster, she doesn't need to pass check. Two other dudes, where do you think they're hiding? Alright, so Stolen Lands, bit of rival. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kill the shit out of the gnome. Go to the Thorn Fjord for the bandit there. Keep track of the passing times, you'll fail in 88 days. I really, really hate being timed. As we know from my Hat in Time playthrough of the new DLC. Oh my god, help me. Do what I must. Time trials, I'm so bad. I like to take my time and explore. Eat the potatoes. 
Yeah, but heavy load, really? That's because it's just me. Once I get my companions. Okay. Travel speed reduced. Oh, that's bad. Why do I have so much? Is this all the potions? Six pounds of potions. That'd be my equipment, too, right? Yeah, fuck me, that sucks. Um. Alright. Need to drop some stuff. Build a heavy crossbow? I'll sell the bows. Although, does that not matter? Three pounds. Okay, equip stuff doesn't matter. All right then. Um. Hmm. Try and get it down below. heavy marker because the travel time is what I'm worried about obviously with the time limit we have we don't want to take too much traveling that would be bad I'm off. Oh, we're gonna have to figure out some stuff we want to sell. I want to sell the things I just bought. Butter is light. Oh god! Oh god! That's why. <laughs> Forty pounds of rations. How am I hitting one hundred and fifty? Thirty-five, forty. This doesn't have to hundred and fifty. You wanna help you smash things, Monster Hunter? I'm not playing Monster Hunter right now. Hi Kirby, though. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, forty, forty-four. And then it's like barely even. There's no way in hell this equals 150. What the fuck? Three pounds. Yeah, now it's not taking any from it. Unless I drop him. Okay, so we do want to sell the ranged weapons. That we don't need. I want to keep the composite bow. I'm going to get rid of those two, because then she has a ranged weapon and I have a ranged weapon, just in case. Here we go. What's an offer mean? Oh, it automatically puts in all the things. Okay, there we go. Now we are... What? I just saw the stuff! I don't like you. Well, that sucks. So it doesn't apply?
stuff that's equipped then? Even though it applied it when I took it off just there? And that's a little bit buggy, oh well. I wish I could equip more stuff on my belt, although because it affects the stuff. See why it wouldn't. Because it's actually a mechanical something to have it on the belt. So there we go, that's a medium load. Finally. Uh look like I was counting your armor but not your weapons. Yeah, that doesn't change it. Maybe it is that. I thought I did before, though. I mean, it makes sense that having them equipped doesn't remove them from the general load. I thought I did one point before, because I looked at it and went, okay, so I don't need to sell it. And I don't do that lightly. Whatever. Eh. And yell at people. Let's go! Reliable comrade in battle, proud Valerie rejects her destiny as a paladin of Shilead, instead leaving the order behind to find her own way in life. Her loyalty to our cause is only matched by her divine beauty. Truly, she... Alright, bye then. The place I want to go... Way down here. Good to me. Uh, what am I traveling at with the medium load? Oh, come the fuck on! Now my. Ugh! Okay. So in town, even though I technically it shows all the people down here, it's only showing my individual single character's load. Now we're fine. Me. I've been had. Fuck it. Oh boy. So that's not where I'm going. That's a road, I guess. Down to somewhere. So I, I was about to go all the way down there, thinking that the thorn for it was down there. Okay. Someone on the road, get ready. Eldritch scoundrels. Well, now we know that, and we'll remember that for later. What's up, man? Your old man in squalid clothing. Scuffles up to you. Gray hair unkempt, and he continually clenches and unclenches his wrinkled, freckled hands. When he stops, still looks up and looks up at you. His eyes widen, and he tugs on his beard. Ramus. Strange weather, invisible fog creeping up from the woods, soars beyond the sky, obscures the sun and the moon. Strange! The old man shakes his head, his eyes lifting and seemingly at random. I don't like this old man. He looks at the kind who would cast the evil eye. Or word, and I'll kill you. Don't say that! Who are you? Remus. That won't help with the fog. What you doing here? I do nothing. Breathe, walk, observe. The fog looks visible enough to me. I see more than ever. I've never seen so much before. The old man wipes his hand across his... his uh, wearily. Oh boy, random hiccups. That's someone else must look. And no one else can. <laughs> Does that mean you can find your way through it? Fog is wrong. It hinders your legs, not your sight. I wish not to try. I should go. The old man stares at you intently. You hasten, you should. Your rival wastes no time. He races, but in another direction. He searches for power. He'll find it. You mean Chuck Tushio? But does his beard a grin? He's not tall, but he wants to climb high. This guy's like an oracle or something. <laughs> Beside him are those who could stand against him and might yet still. 
Yay! So I can convince the undead elf and the depressing dwarf guy to turn against the little shit. What power is he searching for? Someone else's old but forever young. That which was taken from another. That which gave joy but now gives death. Old but forever young. I got nothing. It's in an old tomb south of the trading post. They actually said something that made sense. Thank you. It's not antagonizing. All the more reason not to linger. Farewell! The little man turns away, slowly muttering softly. Once stolen, his land should be reclaimed. Once reclaimed, binded by the claimer shall it be. Binded, merged, joined by unbreakable ties. Claiming the land, claiming its pain, claiming its death. Hey, okay, bye! And then we awkwardly go in the same direction. So if I want to find Jarkushio and his compadres, most depressing. Go to that thing. If it's not too far south, I'll hit it up first. It's right down there. Gotta go this way anyways. Fight! Save first. Saving game is impossible. Oh boy. Gonna be bad. We can probably run. Just gotta get to the edge of the map. Sure. It'd be dumb if they don't let you flee. Hey, Zeph. Welcome to the stream. It's a good game. It's almost D&D, &D, but not D&D. Because D&D is a much more recognizable term. In due time. Where the fuck is this encounter? <laughs> you encounter an empty road on your travels. Hmm. Did they actually model the goblins right in this game? Yeah, they did. They have the big heads and giant mouths. There's a single fucking goblin. Hey, he actually got a hit in. Oh, there's one. This will hurt. You have your dagger out. Don't do that. Don't. Stop that. There we go. Get out of there. He is a spry little shit. There we go. Wow! Two goblins are actually messing us up a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. This will give us some weight. Reduction, I guess. Hmm! Let's not underestimate our foes. Uh, I've really got to worry about encumbrance now. I'm there. We're not going to randomly loot everything. Is that it? Just two goblins? Come back, guys. My legs aren't as long as yours. Just two goblins. Yep. Two whole goblins. All right, then. We did it, guys. Yeah. Yeah, a sec. Yes, random person on Discord and not in my chat. My dwarf does have nipple rings. And that is important knowledge. Should talk to me in my stream chat. I'll notice it more. And we're not taking any of that. That's a lot of weight. <laughs> I I want to go to the ancient tomb first. I want to find the evil group and mess them up 
ASAP. I have a vendetta. The gnome tried to incriminate me. I need my revenge. I could be a paladin of vengeance. You don't know that. Yeah. Ruling a kingdom is a serious task. Make sure you raise your capital at least once each month. You way to spoil the plot. Let's change up this a bit. Have Herbie in the middle. He's a melee character after all. Money, protection from chaos. On oh, monster one, that's nice. Sail of a spoon. Mercenary. In due time. Hey look, it's him! And I'm with a gaudy purple garb. Sees your attention, of course. It's the scoundrel Tartuccio, who you know from your time in Restov. It's vile. Noma standing on a small hill, expressing his discontentment every which way he can Let muster. Me guess. You're still dawdling. <laughs> Should I make some tea in the meantime? Bake a pie, perhaps? Plant a small garden and harvest some cherries? Perhaps you'd be more comfortable wearing fool's caps and colored trousers. Then at least I'd be able to sell tickets. Come one, come all! Feast your eyes upon the slowest and the most ridiculous buffoons in Galorian! Why hurry? The same end awaits us all. Hold your tongue, gnome. I can hardly tell your twaddle from the buzzing of a fly. Quickly now. If we don't find that artifact soon, someone else might seize it. Someone who's standing over there watching you right now, you fools! Here's his gaze angelly upon him. He nods and the guards draw their weapons. Can I just attack? Can I could just straight up attack. I'd have to see him on my companions. Your faith does not oblige you to follow the fools and liars. The church is arrogance long past what you could suffer. I could find far better use for a companion such as you. Yeah, but she's an undead and elf. The elf is worse. It's the worst part. Oh, uh, I'm okay there with the dwarf. There is as much vanity in your words as in the words of all who have not seen the wisdom of Grotus. Yet you seem a worthier leader than the arrogant Tartuccio. Perhaps in serving you, I shall open your eyes to the teachings of my faith. I see my magnificent rival will stop at nothing, even at stealing the servants of his enemy. Let us see if your fools are even more useless than mine. Draw your swords and cover my retreat. Yeah! Does it matter? Can I attack Tatushio? You are messed up, man. Holy crap. He is gonna die. We'll just casually level him up in the middle of combat. I could use a cleric. get yeah yeah destruction and Grotius the god of the end times a sentient and cruel moonlit Ooh, it looks down upon the boneyard it's the last living soul die when far as my judges the last soul of the after the last living body dies the material plane Grotius will descend upon the boneyard and move on to the material plane to clean up and pack the dust away for another reality no one really knows what Grotius is gonna do once the last well, his judge, but generally said that it will not be pleasant. It just said he's gonna descend upon the boneyard and do stuff. Why do you follow such an evil god? He's not even evil, he's just like. Just a doomsayer. And depressing. 18 wisdom, though. It's some with world knowledge. You're not getting any new spells? Eh. Oh, right, clerics get every spell and then they prepare them daily. Okay, new friend, run! The rest of you! Where are you gonna need to escape to? You have like nothing there. Oh, there's way out down there. Uh, 
I think we're going to line aside them. Tactics. Run. Here we go. All right. Get him. You have any offensive cantrips? Ouch. Okay. That is painful. No. Do the thing. The positive damage causes a burst that heals all living creatures in a 30 foot radius. That's nice. That's a lot better than I thought. Seriously though, how do I... Alright, he doesn't have him prepared. This game looks fun, someone buy it for me. Bo! Oh, Bo. Hey, I'll be right back. Uh, my lunch is here at 6 p.m. I am starving! You can stare at this for the two seconds it'll take me. Be right back. Okay. That's a big boy right there. He is in large person. Uh, that actually lowers his AC, so... Focus this, this dumb shit. Hurt. You... There you go. Yeah. Yes. Now you're dying. My people are not good at hitting. Ah. This may have been a mistake. This may have been a mistake. Oh, she's dead. Fuck. Okay, um... Can you cast it again? Yes, you can. Uh, we're out of that now. Potions, potions, all the potions. You shall run! Tear them apart! We're good now. Don't worry, we live. See? You deserve it. This guy. Use an enlarged person potion. Well, find me with a bow! That gives you... That take... So a large person gives you... It makes you bigger. It gives you plus two... Strength. And minus two dexterity. Because that's just size bonus. You don't do that if you have a ranged weapon. Lost much time tracking the insidious Tartuccio. Ben and Shirley had time to what? Shirley had time to disappear and cover their tracks? Oh. That's neat, so I had to choose between them. Anything is possible. I didn't know that. Well. Good. This. Hello, kitten. Uh, 
All right, cleric man. It might be weird and depressing, but you're cleric. I need one. Your strength is fine. You have over half your health. Let's see if they got my order right. No mayo, no tomatoes, no lettuce. There's no onion. Yeah. Eh. Lunch time. Got sweet delivery sandwiches. Fresh out the Jimmy John's. Ah, oh, it's covered in vinegar. Delicious. You <laughs> dry my sandwich. That's that's a phrase I never thought I'd say. You're supposed to put the sauce in the sandwich, not on it. Come on. Okay. Eh. Right then. Gotta make sure my, my dining space is proper and nice. Got napkins. Got the cat not looming over my food. Shoo. Alright. Onward we go. Not in vain. What we got here? Hello. Secret artifact. Be avidly Lost saving. Ancient Cyclops. But I remember from long past times. Well grounded. You could use a collector might pay hence. What are gold's worth of stuff? And in here. I don't like surprises. Crap. I'm there. Adventures call to them. You good with traps? Applause, please. There you go. Wait. Artificial flower? Silver inkwell, silver bell, and money. Whatever this is. Uh, Boz relief? The sun long eroded, a vague outline of the four strange creature had been carved. That's not exactly an artifact. Some silver stuff. I'll go back here, maybe there's something in this room. Get my food on. Hmm. Sandwich stream. Delicious. You had to run all the way over there to examine that? Remember the outline? This bas relief was once depicted a sun and moon. Completely eroded. Those are inspection. I'm going to assume the outline of the, sing the head with a single eye. It'd be a fire from the cracks. But it turns out to be a faded image of the sun. Green jackal skull. Recently scratched on top of the image. Ooh! 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 Lamashans. Or be a Lamash Tuian. There's a god in this game called Lamash Tu. That's monsters and monster accessories. The god. And her symbol is a jackal skull. Alright, I can loot the enemies. Crazy, creepy, weirdly perverted. Because her thing is like birth defects and weird monsters' children and some kinky ass shit. That's really gross. I do what I must. Longsword plus one. I don't think anybody uses a longsword unless you do. Eight. No. 
Well, technically, that's better for me than this awesome hammer I just bought. Yeah. Money. Fine. 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 I'm off. And there's just the collapsed thing. I don't want any of them. Actually, I actually don't have to go back and loot the enemies. Which fragments are next? I remember to trace the lost power as soon as you find a shard of the of a destroyed artifact. Find all the fragments and Arzal and the skill to restore fuel. Cool. I wanna hang out of that. How sweet. First breath of fresh air after the stale, damp stiffness of that tomb before us stretch an unyielding heath. Replay with hills and gullies and patches of low shrubs all over the trail. Chakushi was panting and so was gone cold. We could not get out so easily when the trail was cold or not, we had to follow. Damn right, we did. Now the bladed grass was bent. Must have been enough time to straighten back up. Had enough time to straighten back up, however, since last. Whoever last passed through, but the heath's dry. Earth preserved the prints of little shoes. Our eyes to the ground. We followed the trail. We walked and walked until finally we came to a huge gully, dried up, dried up better river of, of a river of yore. But what is this? At the edge, the grass was trampled down and the soil turned up. Claw prints, lots of them. We'd stumble upon a battlefield. Here the trail sped. One set of footprints walked away from the battle. Down to the gully, the brave footprints that faced down their enemies followed the path along its edge. Uh, Takushi is not brave. Definitely the one that fled. Failed in nature, we could not determine who attacked the creature and Danian, so we could assume there was plenty of attackers, and they were rather small. Probably goblins. Or kobolds if they're claw marks. I think goblins have normal feet. Had that sneak vulnerability. Yeah. Guys, detect magic. Grass split one set of friends. Log discovered traces of a spell apparently from illusion magic. Yeah, the lonely trail. Single set of footprints. Way down was steep, and it took some time to reach the bottom. Walking the loose soil was difficult, but the clawed footsteps were easy to spot. The bottom of the gully went downhill, deeper and deeper. Finally, the footprints turned, whirled up, steep slope, and disappeared in the gully's edge. We couldn't. Couldn't but admire the animal agility of the clever claws of the creatures that we were following. The slopes of forest. Yes! I got a half an hour, apparently. Stuff came up. Uh, could help admire the animal agility. The blah 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 that. Slope before us is as tall as two men. And then a hanging crest. I'm such a little know that it's strange. You will long stay your rest. Do we have anybody with mob? Oh god. We don't have much mobility. Go, halfling. Go! Yes. Tugging the roots, Lindsay took a deep breath, grabbed it with both hands, and began the difficult ascent. I wish you could see, like, the roll. Oh, I can! Eh. At 11. Yeah. Put your feet against the slope and grabbing the roots with both hands. You climb higher and higher. Only her bre heavy breathing and the faint creaking of a root with the deadly silence. Suddenly, dust poured down from the slope, top of the slope. Her root began to slide from the ground, keeping her wrist. Lindsay shifted her weight and her legs and froze. For a tense moment, she continued her journey up. Then she reached the top of the slope. After catching her breath, she lay on the ground, offered, a, offered her hand to help the next of us up. I'm in the gully one by one. We easily found the clawed footprints again. 
Move forward. The air grew tense as we were approaching our target. I really like that little storytelling aspect. It expedites things. Strength fades. I have a feeling this is going to hurt. Cold! To me, a dragon, huge, sparkling, flew down to me from the sky and told me a secret. A great relic that will win the Cobalt. That's Tartuccio. He's transmogrified himself. Somewhere nearby. Enough of this pitiful existence. Search for it. Search and bring it to me. Speak to the suspiciously familiar voice of the gnome. Dragon, glory, dragon. The voice of the couple is rising in excitement. We know the mites. The mites under the old sycamore. This is the magic treasure. Very ancient. Stop deceiving these poor reptiles. Who is there? How? Here, you fools. I... I mean tribesmen, don't listen to his lies. I shall bring you to glory. Just help me find the relic and stop this oh trickster. Oh boy, there's so many of them. I wish I had AOE spells now. What for Gollum? This is gonna suck. No, can we not pause? Can we? Can I move my camera. That'll be a no. Damn it! He's running away again! Fucker! That's it. It's two. Come on! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him all. Don't get killed! You're doing it wrong! Damn it! Stuff hurts! In your level two. Poor baby kobolds. So dead. In due time. Sweet food. <laughs> Haggis recipe. Ew. Gross. Boiled innards. And Lindsay was called forth. Here I am. <sighs> See. Hey. Bunch of chaos. Seven you. Next round, anytime the target rolls a d20, they must roll twice and take the less favorable result. That's a good. More I'm gonna call it here for now. Cause. I gotta go do a thing in like at seven now or six twenty nine. So thank you all for watching. I'll be back with more of this tomorrow. I'm gonna play a lot of this. I really like it, and I've been itching for another uh, for a good role playing game. And here we are. So thank you all very very much. I uh, will be back tomorrow. I think I just said that already. Have a wonderful night. I might be back later tonight, depending on stuff. Who knows? Uh, yeah. Bye.